Hey everybody, I am Captain Tommy Scoville and you are on the lifeboat. All right, Quibble, give me Wait. crap about that long countdown. But Did you just say you're on the lifeboat? Oh, I did not. I didn't. Did I? Did I say no, that? No, no. Related boat. Yeah, related you... boat. I'd say. I said, here's Reese and we are on the related boat. It's not mm. even the related boat. It's related boat. You know, I know. I don't. That could be the residual of one thousand seven hundred times of uh, hopping on the. Uh, my goodness. Why? Why about, did you? Uh, why did you call it related? See, guys, he didn't even tell me about this. He just sends me a link to the channel, and I was like, "What?" Well, we I didn't did talk it. about it. Oh, this is true. By way of full disclosure, we did not. Now I can throw the in front of it. It was really kind of like a a placeholder because Calhoun. So. My son, if you if you don't watch the lifeboat, my son came on and did uh, did his first show as a uh, sort of the captain of the boat. And that day, I went over and saw him before he went live, and we were talking, and he just said to me, "He goes, you know, you should really do a podcast with Reese." Then the people that don't want to see it on the boat, and the people that don't want to see it on Reese's channel, can go and watch you guys. But the two of you should do a podcast, do a related boat podcast. And I was like, you know what? I wonder if anyone has that name. And you know. You, that's just kind of how everything has always started with me. So I just kind of put it in and then I was like, Hey, check this out. And I had the hand. So I sent it over and then Reese yeah. got 1200 people in 25 minutes. And but they were kind of, we're all in at that point. Right? I, I know I asked everybody yeah. and then all of a sudden he was like texting me during my live and he was like, are you telling people? I was like, no, no. I thought we'd just leave it, uh, leave it well, at zero. Well, the reason that I said that is, <clears throat> I had it hooked up like the lifeboat. I don't get notifications when something happens because it would go dang, 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 like your channel would. It would drive you insane, right? It would never stop making noise. But I didn't uh, know to turn that off on Relate About. So I'm getting these noises like, the hell is that noise? And it was people signing up for this thing. Like every two seconds, I was getting a notification That's every time someone. Cute. Oh, it was. Ditto like, Deb no. just called us Ricky and Lucy. You know what? That's nicer than uh, than Chunky and the Junkie. I think that's that's way nicer. I kind of like that one though. I still kind of like it. I do too. It. You know, you know what, people? I gotta have. I'm not trying to send anybody there or anything else, but I gotta have a little fun. I got to. We're over here on related, but I gotta have a little fun. Oh, I there's gonna go be a to, lot of fun. I don't go to trolls, right? I've told you this. I don't go watch anything that people do about me ever. I don't. It's it's religious. I'm religious about it. She'll tell you. But a very close friend of mine was like, hey, bro, you need to go check out you know who. And I'm like, which you know who? And he told me, I'm like, man, I'm not going over there. I'm sure he's talking about me. He's like, no, no, it's got nothing to do with you. And I'm like, why would I want to go over there then? And he goes, because he's making cooking videos <laughs> and uh, and streaming uh, video games. I said, well, all right. Yeah. Hey, man, maybe he's going to find his niche. I'm happy for him. Maybe maybe he needs to turn it into a, a cooking channel. I think that's positive. So if he's watching... More power to you, bro. I think the cooking thing is probably the way to go. And I'll bet you he looks a lot better in an apron than he does, uh, you know, with the microphone thing. He was doing. If he saying. is watching, I have lasagna goals. So if you could send me uh, some kind of a recipe, I really want to tackle a good lasagna. So, um, you know, there are people you look at and you think, I probably would like to eat something that dude has a recipe for. And then there are people you look at and you think, you know, I'd, I'd probably go to Taco Bell. You know what I mean? Uh, like yeah. Dude was cooking. I might just go, yeah, I, I have some protein balls in the car. I'm just gonna... Oh, I would, I would trust that dude's cooking. On account of the fact that he's fat. It doesn't always work that way. There are some beefy people that are terrible cooks. You know? Um. Well, there's beefy people. People who just like to eat, yes, they don't know how to cook, but they know how to eat. Sure, right. But uh, I've gone over and looked, and I've seen the uh, the final products. I oh, he looks like he's got skill. You're saying? Oh okay. yeah, dude has skill. That's what I'm saying. I, I think that he found what what uh, his purpose. God is. bless him. I love it. I, I'm glad he's found a niche. You know what I mean? Find what you're happy with and do it. Because the don't let the talent thing be an issue. Just find what you're into and. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. I think the uh, the first attempt maybe not not so much, but um, I'm not judging anybody. So what? I love the hat. Have I mentioned that? Uh, you have. So this is one of my new custom hats. Um, it was a gift, and uh, I, um, you know, I have a hat maker in Kansas City, and she chose this blue. 
Yeah. She chose this blue because she's made all the other colors. And I said, you know what? You're right. I don't have a blue. I've been told blondes should wear blue. Okay. So we're trying this out for the first time. I thought first show, first time wearing, I've had it for like four months. I've never worn it. Let's do this. Blonde over blue, right? You got the, uh, that's course, sort of the Alice in Wonderland thing kicking. Do you think? I'm not sure if you know, but I'm a fan. What's that? Does it swallow my whole head in a bad way? I feel like it's a lot. Could you just say swallow my whole head one more time? I love you on this channel already. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. It had a, I love it. It, had a, it was melodic. It wasn't, even, it wasn't even being dirty. It was melodic the way you said it. It's just in swallowing fact, the whole head. Not just, just does it swallow the whole head? I'm sailing away. Yes. Yes, it does. The, uh, okay. You know what? The eyebrow thing has got to be very new to you. Because if you did that on the regular, right? I'd have wrinkles. If you'd have wrinkles, right? So you didn't do that before I showed up. Calhoun's dying too, because he knows I'm right. Like she did not do that to a, a man in her life before I showed up. Because if she did, she, take the hat off. Let's see the forehead. Uh, there Tara, is not an wrinkle on her forehead. Tara Look, smiling. One. Yeah. Oh yeah, watch. Let's pretend a serial killer is coming in right now. <gasps> Nothing. Look at that. No, I'm serious. All right, I got one for you. Ready? Oh, oh, wait. There you go. Was she, was she a great big fan person? She, she's yeah. a big girl, sir. May I use your phone, Mr. Gordon? You can use my phone. Uh, Tara, you have a question. There's no call in show, but type it in, girl. Yeah, can I get a witness? More technical Pinko. glitches. Panko, she is a custom hat maker. Uh, hey, Kathy Ann, will you throw up Amina Hood? Uh, oh, her, uh, she makes hats for Vogue. So Amina, Amina Hood, Kathy Ann, you've thrown up her link before so that Panko can look at it. Her, her, she uh, makes hats for a woman named Liz Vogue. She's not doing it for like the magazine, right? Or no, no she, the magazine. Oh, she's, she's done okay, it. Just, just she's checking. actually a good friend of mine. She's a really cool gal and I like her a lot. <laughs> Thank so you, you got to be careful when people just throw stuff out like, ah, you know, they uh, they made hats for, uh, you know, for, for Vogue. Like, you don't know what Vogue. They could just be throwing that stuff out there. Like, I could say, you know, my time at Cambridge, right? And you could assume I went to Harvard. But maybe it's the Cambridge School for Dullards. You don't know, right? It, it, it's how you write the, uh, the sentence. Could be very deceptive. I'm just saying. But now we know that was made for the magazine. Hurt uh, people. You good? First, yeah. I want to say hi to somebody. Hello to the viruses and uh, Trinity. Let me do it. Um, Trinity, she loves the Gertie voice and she's been upset all day. <laughs> and uh, after this, we're going to have to go make her dance. And she's really upset because she got brushed. There you go, Trinity. <laughs> um, I wanted to say hey to some. Who else? Uh, we we didn't do a roll call and Rhonda asked for one. Um, uh, well, we, we, you have a. You know, you do have access to that too, don't you? Or am I, uh, am I nope, alone on this? Nope, nope, Hit the little button up there on the top. Remember we went through this once before? Yeah, it says stream this to your audience. I'm not going to do that. This is my audience. No, no, there's another one up there though that says comments. Yeah, babe. No? Yeah, walk me through it, Tommy, because you're... Well, really it worked the see. last time. Okay, so all right, here we go then. Christina, good to see you. Christina, how are you? Sandy, Wendy, what's happening? Oh, I see going. the chat, babe. Okay, I see the can chat. Can we give them a shout out? That's all. Yeah, I can't important. click on them, though. I can't highlight their names and make them no. feel special. Well, the, the roll call. Is that normally what you do? Do you do you hit everyone as you roll call them? Because that's... Well, no, that's, but that's sometimes I do, and sometimes I want to have that ability uh Let's yeah marie marion oh my god it's tommy and reese you know like that aj speaks okay you just sit silently for a minute and quit shaking your computer okay. shake your tail though shake that cake tommy shake that cake you watch it i'll do that we're on a different channel. positive right? life oh that's so cute trinity i had a chihuahua too and he was the cutest thing his name was gary uh riley's human tara smiling tara Oh, what was the thought process to like to start this show? Uh, well, I can tell you what it was for me. Please. Um, oh, a Gertie and Snickers show. That's so cute, Trinity. 
Uh, for me, it was just uh, Tommy and I really like each other's company. I don't know if you guys could tell we're kind of kind of subtle about it, but we really like to be around each other. And um, not everybody loves us. We found out there's like 11 people that have voiced that we don't love you guys together. So, you know, we really want to provide a safe space where those 11 people can feel safe and not join. So now we have this channel where all of you can come. And I'm going to tell you right now, do we have a theme song? Not yet, Peace Lady. We are, we were late to the show today. We don't have it all together yet. Interesting. Yeah, theme but song. Alan Ballantyne, love you, brother. I love Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, I'm but, fine myself. But, guys, uh, if those ele- any of those 11 people are here, please, uh, there's an exit up at the front and there's an exit at the back. <laughs> Wherever the exit is closest to you, we want you to head there immediately. Um, love or hate each other sounds like marriage. Yeah, yeah. But we really, really like each other. And uh, we just thought, you know what? There's no I in team. That's true. There is a slippery no slope. Uh, you teach right. a man to fish and uh, there's no I in team. So we're going to dial it up. And uh, Linda, that's right. RSM. We're glad you're here, Tammy. Rain virus. Rain, do you feel like it's too much? Does it swallow me? I just don't know. But it was a gift from my good friend, and I I want to honor that. Uh, There's no we in team either. You're correct, Barbara. Uh, Yeah, as we see yourselves out, um, we will have uh, bouncers at each exit as well to put a boot in your ass. So please, only the Tommy and Reese supporters. This is a new place, and it's going to be a good place. Well, we're off to a good start. We are, and yes. uh, you're adorable, and I want you to know it. I like the hat. I am. A, I'm a big fan of the hat, and I like the uh, and I like the color of it. I think I'm oh. allowed to say that, aren't I? I think I'm allowed to say. That. Um, you're allowed to say anything. This is our this is our safe place where nobody's going to come and judge us anymore. You sure? Uh, how is sh- Ursina, how is Shark Week? I appreciate you asking me that. You know, I was thinking about it in the shower. I use my cup, and uh, we're on day three. You know what's so weird? Day one and two, I'm literally dying. I'm on a heating pad the whole time, sobbing. It's all irrational. I get angry at everything. And then day three, it's like I forgot it happened. Isn't that crazy, Ursina? Can we get stickers? Did we get Um, who? Okay, that hat gives fashionista ranger vibes. Okay, that just ruined it for me. Wait a second. The Reese is the best is dressed creator on YouTube. I'm sorry, that trumps anything. Anybody else just said, Panko, thank you so much. Go on. I'm sorry. No, I can't beat that. I was going to say the uh, the related boat is exciting and new. All aboard, we're expecting you. But I but I don't think uh, Reese is the best dressed creator on YouTube. Is uh, I mean, where do you go above that? You know what I mean? That's uh, that's yeah, the top I, of the I food chain right there. That's pretty, uh, it's important to me because I don't have any other skills. Um, so it's really important that I have a good closet full of things. I have a nice closet. I, I, I enjoy. Uh, I beg to differ. A, what other skills? I think you have a tremendous singing voice. Okay. That's not where I was going, but thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um. Tara said, how did you guys respond to those 11 people personally? Uh, Sadly, Tommy sometimes does respond personally. If I respond personally, it's always with laughter and joy. I I always laugh at those people as I see them out. I think it's funny. um, But Tommy doesn't, he doesn't laugh, sadly. Um, Well, it depends on how they do it. I mean, you can come to me and tell me you don't like content I put up. That's fine. When you come to me and tell me to not do content, yeah, I, I, I'm probably going to get an attitude problem because I put up a lot of stuff and I and I cater to a bunch of different genres. So yeah, I tended to lose my sense of humor about it. Um, he does, and uh, it becomes very unfunny very quickly. And uh, you don't you don't you don't want to mess with Big Bear. You don't want to mess with him. <laughs> I've tried, and I lose. So let's. Oh, uh, come on. Well, sometimes I win. Sometimes I win. Um, Speaking of winning and losing, guys, let's just clear the air right now on this. Um, Nope. Nope. I was just going to say something about Mara, but that's okay. 
Oh, Mara, well, Mara sent me the friend. coolest hankies in the world. The coolest what? The hell is that? So that she noticed that my nose runs a lot and that sometimes I end up using a sleeve, like kind of guy style. And she thought, well, look, you, you know, you asked, I'm, I'm just, sit right back and leave I know what chair. those are. Uh, Fred had a bunch of those. Yes. Old men tend to, I'm a little surprised yeah. that you weren't aware of this. Do I we have, have a, a group safe word? It's so funny that you say that. Right. Cause I think we need one. Um, handkerchiefs there you go and they're beautiful by the way so thank you mark brent god hoping so and the creek rises um i uh of course tara you're very welcome uh oh speaking of winning and losing speaking of winning and losing yeah. so bendy yes so, there's so no bendy. question i like I it you know speak it oh I, I actually think i do Speaking of so for the safe word. Uh, Let me work on that uh, for a second. Yeah, a little close to what? Huh? Your dad okay. calls them booger vaults. That's an odd safe word. But look, man, you get the safe word you want. That's nobody's business but your dad's. I want it to be something more easy to rolls off the tongue. The Uranus. Uh, Rachel, uh, how do memberships work on this channel? And Tommy, why? And Reece. quite simply put, uh, we don't have any. We're uh, we're fairly new to this. In fact, we are not monetized. Okay, and, so and let's take your time with this. By the way, yeah, Tommy, zip it right now. Shut it down. Pipe down. Okay, listen up. Close it down, Big Bear. All right, guys. There's a bit of a bet going on, and um, uh, yeah, Brent, for sure. You know what that's about, Brent. Um, I here's the deal, guys, and I really need you. I'm gonna need you bad. I really need you to 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 rise with me. Chat, assemble. <laughs> Listen up. I told Tommy we will be monetized in 72 hours. It's not about the money, guys. It's about the bet. Okay, don't look at him. Look at me. Here's the deal. I was monetized in 48 hours over on the Relatable Reese show. That girl over yes. there, yes. she was monetized in two days. I'm making yes. it three. I need you guys to get those watch hours up, okay? There's a bet going on. Tommy thinks it's going to take seven days. Yadira, we're counting whoa, on whoa, you, girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tommy's bet whoa, is it's going to take whoa. more than three days. That was the bet. No, yeah, if, fine. If but it you takes said a more week. than 72 hours. And you said 48. And then we decided on a bet that was somewhere in between. Because both of us were being a little hyperbolic. You said, actually, we're going to do it in a day. And I said, what? Um, watches no, for the safe word? I talk about yes, watches a you lot. Yes, you guys, I need you to go back. Done. Now, hold on. We also have to put up a lot of content to make this bet fair. You cannot and just put... Okay. Here's the deal. We needed a thousand uh, subscribers. That happened in Which ten minutes. She like I knew it would. Got that before we oh, even please. announced. So come on. Uh, but that's okay. You announced it. You, 4, I didn't even know you were doing it. It's true. It's true. Okay, but so you here's love the it. deal. Four thousand watch hours are needed. Christy, you're doing the right thing. You're doing the Lord's work. Two devices Christy, going on for you, you truly Christy. Are. God bless you. And I said I will push for this. Did I not? Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, you're going to you push it. You're going to okay, push listen, it real good. Listen, guys, now that she's giving you the her message, all right? Come here. Lean in here. Come here. Do you know what I get if I win this bet? It just needs to take like 74 hours. I'm not suggesting we don't monetize. I'm just saying 74 would be uh, spot on. I'm not going to tell you what we bet. Yeah, it's probably not best to say it yet. Um But that's why I came up with the safe word. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm just trying to start rumors. But. <laughs> oh, no pun intended. But. Uh, yeah, the bet includes. Some fine footwear, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know if, yet. No, there could be some there could be some fine footwear involved in this. Um, there, there could, could be, be some shopping involved in this. 
it Suffice may to add say, to my collection. There might not be some watch uh, shopping involved in this, but relate about watches. <laughs> Definitely watches. You know, Tommy owes me a couple of watches. I paid for them. Safe word, Sister Christian. You know why that wouldn't work, MJ? Because routinely, if it comes on the radio, I will just call. Uh, I will just ring up Reese and sing it into her. Uh, I have a thing about singing in the car, and if it's a good song and I know she likes it, I just kind of pop on and. She never answers the phone, so I just leave it on her answering machine. So Sister Christian comes up a Did lot. Did you just I'm say answering machine? Night Ranger. Yes, on videotapes. You better uh, start 1991 nice just called and left a message on their answering machine. I got news for you. By 91, <laughs> Did you just I call was me already kidster? so tragically <laughs> un unhip. Hey, Trinity. Good to see you. My ding um, wing You know what? Great song. I know it Trinity. by heart. That would be fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, turquoise shopping if Reese wins. Yeah, yeah. And your Penelope little boyfriend, too. Way. Oh, you know what I got? Check this out. Hey, ditto, Deb. I think that's going to do the exact opposite of what the safe word is supposed to do. Really? Yes, I Renee. don't think you understand the concept of the safe word. She Hold says on, Renee. The safe word. Yes. <laughs> it counts if you watch over and over, you guys. So just replay it. Just put it on mute and replay it you bought it you sicko it's pink cotton candy do you think i didn't buy it it's my favorite thing on get, the planet you're gonna get the beatus i probably will but you know what if you're gonna get diabetes you get it on cc because cotton candy is the business providing it's not the like the purple stuff which is kind of gank and the blue stuff's okay but the pink stuff is it's a different yes. thing altogether Miss Sunrise Dawn, Spanx is posting under it. Yes. Yes. So guys, uh, Victoria, you bring out the best, talk through the tough stuff and appreciate each other so much. It's palpable. That is a night. Nice, did you see that, Tommy? Oh, what a cool thing to say. I think I probably that is like so that, sweet. Yeah, it really is. But you know something? I think that that's, I think that that's the future of the, uh, of the related boat. Because I'll be honest, it's funny it's the, the funniest thing is the people that complain and it's a very small minority a vocal minority, but the people that complain, you mm -hmm. know, we, we, it's not like we did the shows together and didn't get good numbers. Like we did the shows together and crushed it. You know what I mean? So it never made sense that people were complaining. It's like, you know, good. Then we'll do exactly what you want. And then 70 people show up and you go, oh, maybe the other people kind of like that more. I don't know. Um, I think people are just happy to be here and I'm glad that seriously, in all seriousness, you guys, I'm glad that we created, I'm glad that he did this because it doesn't, uh, clog up my channel, his channel. We got some boat people. We got some, uh, relatable people who say, we only like Tommy. We only like Reese. So you know what? Now they can't complain. And if they do, I'll really enjoy putting a boot in their ass. You were saying, <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I am very happy at the, uh, at the idea, uh, that we have a place where we can come and, uh, and fart around because, uh, this is a, uh, you know, we can, we can delve into some seriously, um, we can delve into some serious topics and I'm yes. by serious, I mean stuff that people will want. Look, you, you can't get, uh, you can't get a man and a woman to have a conversation about things that men and women can't have a conversation about. And I think it would be fascinating to listen to some of those conversations. You know, I think we can, uh, we can go a little bit more raw. I'm not talking about, you know, being foul. Although no. if I win this bet, I get to go foul. Eh. I just met. Please in the everybody. Show. Come on, please. People. I met I'm asking like I've never asked before. Please get us to the 4,000 hours in 72 days. Take your time. I mean, Get on Can this. it, Scoville? Can it? Zip your lips right now. Everybody, please, while he's taking that drink, please just rewatch. Rewatch <laughs> those hours, please. She said please. that she said that like it was a telethon, didn't she? People, while he's over there getting that drink, get out your credit cards. Please do this quickly, right? Watch this and watch this a lot. I'm 52 and farts are funny. Make no mistake. Farts are funny at any age. They don't stop me. I don't ever fart. I just skip right to it and crap my pants. I respect that. I respect that. And I'll tell you why. Uh, because there are so few people. I don't mean to crap their pants because we all do this. 
But those of us willing to come out and go, oh, yeah, no, I've done that about a dozen times. When you got on the phone with uh, Johnny the other day, were you a little blown away by that? Because Reese was like, oh, yeah, to be honest, you know, I, I have, uh, you know, I've, I've actually, sh you know, shit my pants in the past. And my brother was like, and? <laughs> right? He's like, yeah, well, of course you have. We've all done this. <laughs> Johnny right? and I had some really deep conversations the other day, and I love him. He's a good person. He's a great Not person. Not the pants crapping again. I promise it's a short one. It's a very short one. I did want to tell you one quick, no, I'm kidding. I have no, I have, I've told you all my guns. What are you doing there, Quill? Huh? You know what it looked like you were doing? Yeah. Just open them up. Just opening them up. Yeah. We're not on Shake my channel. Shake that money maker. What's that? Shake that cake. Um, For real. You realize what the things we could do here. Oh, I realize it. I was about to Simply take my Simply says, I have a procedure in the morning. So absolutely nothing else to do but tune all my devices in to relate about for the weekend. That's what I I'm love that. About. And the we hope coming. the best. Get, get to it by Sunday. We're good. We love your. Uh, we hope the best for your procedure. Uh, while you're in and out of it, conscious and, and not conscious, please just continue to re-roll that tape, girl. Now I don't want any of you to think that just because. Much better, Tammy. Thank you. Last night I may have. Um, I may have test fired by putting up a, a squirrel video just to see if everything was working. Cause sometimes you can't upload for a while. And I wanted to make sure we'd be good to go. It wasn't that I was starting to, to get the clock running, say, you know, 12 hours ahead of time. I'm not that guy. Reese on the other hand might have 1300 people line up before we make an announcement. So she's that girl, but, but I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Was this your show or our show? It's your show. Actually. No. It's not. I don't even have access to this damn thing. I can't even highlight people's I've names. I've been trying to give you the... Sure you have. <laughs> Do you know how much I don't want to be on this side? Everybody here is laughing because they're like, yeah, what Tommy wants is really to be running the computer. <laughs> Seriously, I'd rather die than run the computer. <laughs> I know. I can tell oh, in your voice man. every time you call me. Come when on, he calls me good, about I? anything computer... As sexy as it, he talks through his teeth and it's hot, but it's not because it's, it's angry, but it really is a turn on, but it's not like I get on edge. Cause I know he's angry, but he's like, I can't seem to, and I'm like, Ooh, ah, uh, never mind. Be honest. I'm doing a lot better. Oh yeah. You're amazing. You can't hear, you can't hear the teeth grind anymore. Now they just kind of do this one, but I'm not. Yeah. Did you just see how she did that for real? She looked like, like squirrel it. when I grabbed the back of her neck. She went, yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. That was a little of that. I'm just saying. Not. I'm not saying, but I'm saying. Jill Randolph, what you were supposed to watch is anything and everything on Relate About three times. Just saying three is a good number. Is it uh, Who's the peanut butter and who's the jelly, Jen Jen? I kind of like feel like I'm the you... jelly because I have diabetes. <laughs> And Tommy's yeah. very built and masculine and muscly. So he's like the protein. He's the peanut butter. He's the good it's stuff. It's so weird that that's where your head went on that. I mean, I love that, but that's so weird that that's where your head went on that. You want to hear where my head went on that for real? Because I came up with the same thing, but I didn't come up with it for even remotely the same reasons. Because I thought to myself, yeah, she's the jelly. You know what I mean? Because when you eat, when you eat peanut butter and jelly, like a peanut butter sandwich, uh, sandwich is awesome. I can eat peanut butter without jelly on it. But when you put jelly on it, it's just like the peanut butter holds everything together and it's kind of tough in there, right? But the jelly is where all of the action is. It's where all the flavor is. So Aww. with that question, yeah. But it's the same. I mean, we answered it the same way. It's just a really, it's odd how we came to the same answer because it was really, <laughs> we arrived differently, but it was definitely the same answers. Control issues. I wonder which one of us she's talking about. <laughs> Probably both, but Panko is married to a therapist. So I'm I would take her seriously. I wouldn't hold that against her. She I knows what she's talking about. Oh, good. I thought you were being crappy. Paula Greaves, no. is that a picture of your foot? Pamela, I mean. What? Sorry. Look like a foot. That's all I was saying. Kind of look like a foot. Renee, Rainbow, how are you? Relay to paddle. That's cute, Jessica Collie. I saw that the other day related to paddle. Someone else saw that. That's really kind of good. Um, the other night I had PB and J for dinner and it was amazing. Be honest, rain virus. What flavor jumped out at you the most? 
Because I think no, no matter, do you know what I always found funny? If you travel the world and you go to um, embassies, U.S. embassies in other country, they always have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches at the embassies waiter. That is a okay. true story. It's, no, it's funny because if you bring people from other countries, like every, every country in the world thinks, yeah, all they eat in America is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Because if they've had, to, you know, have ever been to uh, one of our embassies, oh my they're always God. like, hey, you want a sandwich? Yeah, that's the, the height of... I mean, of, Hope, it is kind of couture. universal. They're delicious. It is yeah, good. I don't eat them very often. Here. It's very unique to our country. They'll really raise my blood sugar. They're delicious, but they also give me raging heartburn. A lot of uh, carbs gives me heartburn. Bread, crackers, any of that. I get heartburn. Michelle, I love you too, girl. Sometimes it's worth it. I mean, honestly. It does count as uh, the time on each device you watch it on. Yes. Yes. So get that. You got three days, guys. We have three days. And don't, I'm going to be in the fight with you. I'm going to be on other devices throwing it up there. I'm not going to lie to you. Back in the day, you know what I used to do? I would go into Walmart <laughs> and just go over to every device they had on there and be like, do, 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 like boat, like boat, like boat. Just go down there. And as I'm walking through, people would look at you like, that looks really familiar because every single computer in the entire place had my face on it. Oh my God. Desperate honey. times call for desperate measures. Desperation is a stinky cologne. <laughs> uh, I did enjoy MJ that show with Ryan. Ryan is a good close friend of mine. Uh, uh, Ryan is, uh, you guys really seemed to like him. And thank you for being welcoming because he texted me after and he was like, did I do okay? I felt awkward. And I was like, no, you did great. He's just a good friend of mine. I had for a long time and. Don't nice you think everybody and... feels awkward the first time that they do this? I, I mean, think that's universal. Well, no, I mean no. normal people. You're a weirdo, so am I. But oh, I yeah, I'm definitely folk. an alien. I don't have a problem yeah. talking because of my Scientology background and giving up, giving up all the bad stuff, even stuff that I made up from a previous life. I don't know, Mara. I don't know the, how to do math. Uh, lied about the shits, though. Really. Yeah, he had to a VT kitten. Who hasn't crapped their pants? You crapped your pants on a walk with you, me on the phone with you. Oh, I thought you, you were saying who hasn't? I yeah, misunderstood the pants. question. Oh, yeah, yeah I've done pants. it. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to have a dollar for every time. I, I, oh, my uh, God, you know what I just realized? We can cuss. You can cuss because you never cuss on the boat, but you cuss my damn ear out every time we're on the phone. And we're not monetized yet. So we can say whatever we want. I have no memory whatsoever of uh, ever, but you'll be monetized on this video anyway. It's retro as long as it's within the first month, potty mouth. No, but that's not. okay. Light it up. No, it's not, sailor. No, it's not. Of course, I'll light it is. you up. I got something to light up. Bring it. Is no that that was about anyway? What? <laughs> Crapped my plane uh, on the according pants to, to Brent yesterday. Yes. Don gloves. That's oh. tough. That's tough. You pooped shit, yesterday shit. on a plane? Yeah, dropping a deuce on a plane is tough. Like that's M Millie crapped that's her tough. pants on Monday. Yeah, the places I've done, I've never done it on an airplane though, which is astounding because I've spent a lot of time on uh, on I almost crapped my pants on the plane coming back from Seattle like a month ago. I almost did. Um that is definitely uh, Pamela's feet. Millie, you pooped your pants. Yadira, you vote to keep Ryan on. That's cool. I'll bring him back sometimes, you guys. Uh, Ryan well, was funny. Know? Ryan kind of reminds me of Aaron, only if Aaron had no filters and could express his sarcasm fully. So that queen kind of reminded me of the king, except for the fact. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I could see where you would say that, actually. Strawberry jam is my jam jam. I'm a pretty big fan of strawberry jam. Um, I like strawberry jam. I also love raspberry. Grape is fine too, really, if that's all you got. I don't like grape. Um, hey, you guys. It's a belly option on two on two. You want to get halfway between the other and the hawk? What are, what are you I'm doing? Wearing push, I'm wearing a push up bra and it feels weird. I don't usually do that. I put it on because it was a light color. See, it's the same color as this. You put it on because sure. you were. Because we, came, cause it, we came over to the steamy channel. It's steamy. That's it. You thought, you know what? We're getting raw here. Uh, by the way, before we leave, uh, we got plenty. You want to take our clothes off? Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna reenact the uh, the uh, triple X. You know, he wears that fur coat with nothing else on. Didn't see triple X. 
I was going to do my Vin Diesel imitation anyway. That's fine. I won't do it then. It's, uh, you know, just make a private video like you usually do and send a watch picture. You're not supposed um, to tell them about the private videos. Come on now. You gotta wait um, a month. Uh, guys, who dropped speaking their of pants? Uh, the steamboat, I like that, Stephanie. That's what we should have called it. The steamy boat. Pretty sharp. We can change the, the name. Steamy love boat. Can you change the name to the relate boat? I can't believe you just we called could. it relate boat. I just want to see if it was there. Yeah, no, I, we could change it to the relate boat. You've got to give me control because you you're all over the place and I just feel like I need to have some control. So what are you saying? Uh SB, I need four thousand watch hours, my friend. Please dial it up for me. I've By got Tuesday. to win this bet. By Tuesday. Tommy, get nope, on this. nope. Tommy has to lose this bet. Please. Please. It's for my it's for my it's for my mental health. I need you. Uh -huh. Um. What? Oh, Frida, speaking of Frida that, D'Onofrio says, "Who dropped their pants?" Well, the bet's nobody not yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Depends on those watch hours. I'm kidding, but seriously, I need to win this bet. Good. I agree, come Panko. On, baby, light my fire. Buffy. Uh, Brent, come on, man! You're starting to get Buffy too. Summers. You're it's hitting just too close to home. To say hi to Reese. I, think I love Buffy Summers. Like me, but that's okay. Do stop it and Where? say hi to Reese. Where? Buffy Did Summers. she say that? She said, I'm popping in to say hi to Reese. She and I are very close. That's why she said that. I She's love not that. close to you. You sneezed and crapped in your PJs this morning. That's a winner. Do we have anybody that beats this morning? Um, we're going to need more info. What time this morning did Sean's wifey, uh, you know, by the way, My sneezing gets me almost every time it happens to me. It's either a sneeze or a cough. Oh, you must have a loose uh, b-hole. Well, I mean, that could be it. Or I happen to cough really hard. I mean, that's one of the other options. Or I, I mean, it's got to be one or the other. You either. No, I think right? you have a loose b-hole. Uh, I've never coughed or sneezed and crapped myself. No, that's not true. So I you, laughed in the kitchen so, and pooped myself once. I'm sorry. What? My cough does it, but your laugh? I, I've never gone, hee, 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 dropped a deuce. I think if anybody here is a little loose, it's not Hold on. Me. You've never done what? <laughs> is, that your, is that your prison laugh? Did you laugh like that in prison? No, that was that was actually <laughs> what you do when people come on. That's uh, That was my... Um, I do a lot of laughing uh, in prison. Can you highlight Brittany or I'll just read it? I suffer from severe depression. I take meds, exercise, and journal. Sounds like you, Tommy. You guys are on top of it. But I'm in a funk. What do you two do to pull yourself out of a hole that seems endless? Brittany, I hate that. Well, first of all, two things, in my opinion. Ups and downs are, are, were built that way, and it's supposed to happen, Right. But if the down is lasting you a week, 10 days, you find you can't get out of bed, sometimes it is, and people hate it when I say this, but sometimes it's because our brains are not firing the way that they're supposed to, right? Mine does not. I require medication in order for my brain to do the things that other people's brains do without medications. That's the reality of who I am. And for some people, that's the way it is. You need to go and talk to um, a, a professional. Brent says psychedelics. I'll be honest, I've had a lot of success with psychedelics, but you got to treat psychedelics. I, I don't mean go buy a bag of mushrooms and eat them. There needs to be a doctor involved. And there, there is an entire process that has now been approved by the FDA using these drugs to help kind of eliminate the ego process in figuring out who you are. Because very often at a young age, we figure out this idea of who we are. And then that shapes and taints everything along the way. If you can break down that idea of originally who you are, you might just figure out who the hell you are, right? You might find out that you're not such a bad person, or maybe you find out you are a bad person, right? And you need a crap load of change. But I'm, a, I'm an advocate of those. But on, every time I say that, then somebody calls me and goes, I bought two, you know, two grams of this downtown. And uh, that's not what I'm talking about, man. Like get, you got to go talk with someone who's a professional and go through the entire process. But it, okay, Brittany, I don't opinion. think I can top that because Tommy is an expert at this stuff and I trust him a hundred percent. Um, um, and Tommy, just, just where the rest of us are experts, everybody's saying you need to do your, your beehole kegels, beagles, I do that, do no, your beagles. No, they're called kegels. They're called kegels. I think, uh, but nobody, no, they're that called, all the time. yeah, 
Do you know why I do that, though? It's got nothing to do with that. It's got to do with control on the other side if you're not on the truth. That those exercises have something to do with um, a little bit of control on the, uh, you know. <laughs> That's why I was thinking it's probably not a case of. I do I do those gangles more than the next guy. Uh, Cinderella's glass but, zipper. Bless you, my love. You hey, got look, three the devices going. Here. God bless you. Yeah, um, good to see you, lifeboat. Uh, yeah, he gives great advice. Uh, speaking of um, having the hots for him, uh, they're not called bagels. We're calling them Mara. We're calling them beagles. Uh, thank you so much, Carol Barnhart. Um, what are we guys, calling oh, beagles? Oh, oh my God, oh, I forgot to say dog? hi. Because of the no, because it's for the back door for you. Of- Oh, I got your bagels. For your butt. Uh, bagels. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. The, uh, um, da, 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 da. Hold on. I want to say hi to Lisa. Make it make sense is here. And she's doing better. I know. I saw her this morning on my channel. I was super stoked because I've been asking people to pray. I was super stressed out. I'm trying to find her. I love her. Usually Calhoun's better at this, but he isn't here. I love her too. Um, but she's going to say something else and then I can put it back up. She is home. That's what she said this morning. There it is. There it is. See her? Booyah. Yeah, I saw her. That's why, that's why I brought her up. I recognize, I recognize her anywhere. Um, You would. You would. Uh, the sunrise I, um, dawn. You can't be trusted. I'm sorry. Did you see what Curious Cat her. said? I thought I had to fart once, but uh, I was on antibiotics, and uh, that gave me the uh, green apple two-step. Didn't come out as a fart. Totally sharded myself. Been there, done that. Not a good time. I've told you all the stories, man. I had a friend. We worked at a at a hotel, and he, you know, he did the. Uh, he came up and was going. He goes, "Hey, man, what's going on?" I go, "Not much." And he went, like, lifted one cheek, like he was, you know, six years old or whatever, and went, "Uh, I'll be right back." And I go, "Oh, no, no, stick around." Like everybody there knew exactly what happened. I'm like, "No, I got something. I need you. <laughs> need you to wash the brass." He's like, "I'm gonna head, head down to the locker room." I'm like, "Yeah, you know, it's getting a little greasy, isn't it? You might want to get down there. Because if not, that's gonna itch <laughs> the, viciously." The when it dries out. <laughs> yeah, the green apple scoot scoots. <laughs> it's gonna itch terribly when it dries out. <laughs> oh, I love you, Hockey, Hockey Town, Town John. John. I yep. love that he guy. Was, he says, "I love you um, two together because you are both just the most immature people on all of Earth." <laughs> uh, I would like to. Yeah, Jessica Colley. Yeah, we need to get him a better mic, and we're going I to. Got a two hundred dollar gonna... mic. I don't know what it is with you people, man. My mic is fantastic. I don't know what the problem is with my mic. I have a good mic. I have a great Do you have mic. a sure? No, no, I don't have a sure. I have. Okay, a, well, these uh, are supposed to be the best, and clearly I they are because Yeti. everybody hears me. I never get complaints about mine. You know what? I get 50-50. Half of the people tell me mine's too loud. The other half of the people tell me mine's too quiet. So Well, I you realize you're far from it. Like when I first started streaming with Aaron, if I he was like, you can't talk. You This is not, this doesn't work. Yeah. You have to be closer. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I know. So I guess we're screwed. I know. You know you're so suck. easy to work with. Guys, he's the I, best I partner. I've been doing he's this so for easy. a really long time. I'm not, I'm going to go down like this now and keep my, my grill here for the day. Promise you that's not going to happen. Sorry. I apologize. Thank you, uh, Marie. Yeah, I knew there's got to be at least one of you. <laughs> um, here's the thing with ketamine. Once again, peace lady. That stuff's great to party on. However, it is a, uh, the, the problem with ketamine is it is an analog of PCP. And a lot of people don't seem to get this. So if you go a little bit too far with that drug, you are going to get disassociative effects that are so strong, you're not going to know where you are, right? And I've had it happen and it's horrific, right? It's frightening. It's like a nightmare, K-hole and all of the things that go along with ketamine. If you're going to a doctor and the doctor is going and putting you through ketamine therapy, that's fantastic. My problem has been, that everybody I've seen do that decides to go and get a little on the side because it's fun when they're in there. So they just, are, they, they come with the concept of, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do it whether the doctor's there or not. I'm not going to up it. I'm not going to try to party on it. But when you got a bottle of it at your house and you feel good, you go, ah, I think I'll feel a little better. Lumen's been there. And then you go, ah, I feel a little better. And you do that one more up your, you know, your schnoz. If it's one of those, uh, you know, the, the inhaler ones. And the next thing you know, everything goes like this, right? And you get that vision thing and it's like, oh my God. Yeah, Curious Cat, it makes people trip, right? It is a dissociative drug, which is why people call trip drugs, trip drugs. 
causes you to disassociate from yourself. The highest of the disassociative drugs that you can get, unless you're going to South America and doing, you know, the whatever, right? The uh, ayahuasca, the, you know, or any of that stuff, but the readily available, the highest you're going to get is PCP. The analog of that is special K or ketamine. In a clinic, it's good. It's, it's a lot better, but good. I'm glad for you. I am really glad for you, Tara, and I hope it continues to work out that way. That's not that's not the normal experience. And it's what how we just lost the cat from friends, right? Like he was going and getting the treatments and he was buying buttloads of it on the side. And that's, it's something that tends to happen because you got to admit, it feels pretty damn good when you're in there getting it, doesn't it? So, Ditto, Deb. Uh, yes. Uh, Calhoun, maybe you can, you know, get help. You want me to wrap it up? No, no just, we're going to fix it after it's actually kind of nice that I don't have to do anything, but I am staring at the chat because I can't click and I want to answer people. No, we don't have to end over it unless you're trying to get out of here. Well, I'm just Matt Are trying Perry. to pull a Reese. Yeah. Matt Perry. That's um... Tampa B. How is your cat bite healing? I think she has all of her fingers. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. She does. She sent me a picture. Um, Guys, Jessica Colley, you're going to Arizona. Guess who else is going to Arizona? Today is National Pet Day. Thank you, Jessica we- Colley. I agree 100%. Reese is heading to uh, to the state. She is uh, going to be coming to visit. Are you I not? Am. I am. What do you, uh, are you excited about it? Or are you, are you, are you getting nervous? Are you not uh, looking Absolutely it? not. I'm, I'm super excited about it. Although I'm a little bummed out. You don't eat uh, White Castle. White Castle is kind of a big deal. Oh but, my um, God. Are you serious? No. Yeah. Oh, please don't do it around me. I'm going yeah, to St. Louis this weekend. It's going to be all over my car. White Castle? Yep. Yeah, Please don't, don't do it around White me. Castle. You don't eat White Castle in a car, man. Um, I know somebody that uh, it looks like a vacuum. It just goes. They just they just pop right in like Skittles. Uh, wait, do we go together? Uh, bring your red jacket. It was returned to sender. Return uh, yes. to send. Uh, Jessica. Yes. Um, oh. I am gonna go to. Uh, oh, I would. I would rather paint my house with a Q-tip. I am not eating White Castle. Get out of here. Lord Driscoll, when we were kids, eating sliders in a car was no big deal. But now that you get a little older, you eat you know six or seven sliders in your car, and your car will smell like sliders for six months. You got to go inside for uh, for White Castle. I don't, I don't eat that kind have. of meat. So, what have you got against monkey? I'm sorry. Honestly, What'd you have you say? had monkey meat? Uh, Tommy, I hope no one has. I'm fairly confident that's what they're making uh, the burgers at uh, at White Castle out of. I assure you, they don't taste like any other beef. I don't think they're beef. I'm, I'm not sure what they are, but they are so damn good, man. They're just. I'm kind of bummed that you love that place. VT Kitten got it. Um, how could you be bummed? No, I love it. Reese would never be the same after uh, White Castle. There's probably some truth to that. My understanding is White Castle now makes a veggie burger. So I don't know why she couldn't go in with me. And oh, they meat. do not. Could bet me. I'm too scared. I already have one if going. Got, I'm frightened if I'm going to lose. No, this will be a completely different kind of, uh, it'll be a completely different kind of bet. This is just, if they happen to have one, you're going to eat it. Yeah, if they happen to have one that's not cooked on the same disgusting grill as the other of disgusting sliders. It's, it's, it is. It's actually, no, 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 no. They actually cook it 200 yards away in a building that is kosher and has a, uh, a hazmat tent around it. There are people on the building with automatic weapons just to make sure nobody with meat gets anywhere near the building. They don't even let people who have had a Slim Jim in the last six months on the property. I think you're going to be safe on this one. Are you done? I was, going Hi, to in, I was going to throw in something about them carpeting the, in, yeah, I, I'm, done. I'm done. Okay. Why don't you, uh, why don't you try not talking for a minute guys? I am so excited. Um, 
I hope Tommy's excited. He may not be excited. I don't know. Uh, let's look at his face. Are you excited? I'm going to come to Arizona. You look frightened. No. You looked a little scared. I'm going to come to Arizona. I was kind of excited about the, uh, no, I'm good. Uh, I'm going to, uh, you're going to pick me up. I'm not doing this Uber crap. I don't know how to call an Uber. Um, oh, MJ, Oops. that's a tough one, but I would definitely choose Os that. Oh, no, Huxley no, does say that it, to me. Say it or you're not gonna... Nope. Huxley does that to me on purpose. He goes, isn't that great, mom? He goes, isn't it awesome? And he does it intentionally just to push my buttons. Um, so wait, are we going to Arizona? My schedule's flexible. Also confirm my cruise. When are we prom dress shopping? Holy crap, Jessica Colley. Uh, Hi, Sophia. It, girl. Uh, yes, definitely, definitely all of the above. I am going to Arizona. Tommy looks scared about it, but we're going to get past those fears because you know what? Tommy can do anything. Speaking of Huxley, you guys, I took him out last night. Look, he won his baseball game. Look how cute he looks. I took him out for his favorite pizza. He tied. I don't know anything about sports, but he tied the game up. They were losing. And all of a sudden Huxley's running from the second base to the third base. And I watched him slide like four feet and all this dust was around him. Like the pig pen from Snoopy show. <laughs> and it was so cute. Um, what? No, it is not friend and friend. That's strike well, that one, a brother. great idea, dude. That's a great idea. Cause how likely is she, is she to say it? Right. Those are the ones we want. We want those words that she's just not likely. Like it really hurts to have to pull out the safe word. Those are the ones you want. Like how about LRH is awesome or something like that. That would just be where you'd be like, I can't do it. Just keep doing what you're doing. I can't say it. Right. Sorry. Those are the safe words I want. See, Brent gets it. Brent gets it. Right? Can you reenact that again? I can't do it. <laughs> Gross. That's I was only right. imagining what was going on there. Um, yeah, a bit of a dusty you know sun. Uh, Jessica Colley, I'm, when am I going, Tommy? When, it, when, it, when are you flying me there? When are you going I'm, to uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I know that it is towards the, uh, cool toe beans. Here's the thing, Mara, by the way, Mara, thank you for the, uh, the languages. I don't say, I say t cool toe beans all the time. Like it comes up in sentences in my house five or six times a day. Left breast alert. What are you doing? Oh, we're going I am both. adjusting this bra. Let it go. Reese can't get her word in. I'm not going to say anything else, Panko. I'm good for the day. <laughs> you, you got this. Reese, please. Panko is just being silly with you. You've got to let that go. We're not on the it's boat. The third time. The fun I'm kind of hating Panko. I don't like no, Panko. Panko is no, our, I don't. Panko is our attorney. I really don't. I know, but I don't like her. Look, here, check it out. We'll just keep going back. <laughs> I'll just keep going back. There's a lot of them. I don't like Panko. You know what, though? Here, thanks for taking you guys, over. We can keep going back. We can keep going back. I don't like Panko anymore. And you know what? I'll just block her because guess what? Check this out. I no. got the juice. No, watch. Don't. This is awesome. Oh, no, I got it. See, that's the thing. I got it. Tommy, yeah. gun, No, but you know what? I don't like mean people. That's mean people. Mean people suck. I used to hatred. See, she's saying that she's in therapy. Oh, well, get some. <laughs> Thank you, Lumen. Ooh, he's Colitis. sassy over on this side, isn't he? Uh, no, I'm not taking any shit, and I'm even going to use the word shit. <laughs> no, uh, don't block Colitis. Panko. And Panko, Colitis I love is a good word for a uh, for a panic word. Oh no, how about kaleidoscope? Hey, Panko, I love you, and I know that you mean very well. I love Panko. Don't Panko has been super supportive of Huxley. Uh, she's super chatted Huxley for really okay, kind so things. Pay attention. We came over Whoa! here. So, no, we came over here so that the people who were going to be shitheads could go somewhere else. If I got a shithead, I don't want her here. See what she that said? I'm in a, see her comment? I'm an attorney. I'm used to hatred. Okay. Well, then you're going to love this. We're good to go. Right? Just move we're on from Panko and leave her alone. I like Panko a lot. She's a nice person. She's... She's going through a lot with all of her cases. Should we talk about people who are going through a lot? Um, huh? Listen. Let's talk babe. about people who are going through a lot. That's mean. I mean, they all deserve that. Plank? Uh, I do planks too. 
they're kind of part of my uh, yoga routine, you know. See, now I've scared Tampa Bay. Are you scared too, Reese? Is that what that is? No, I was showing you the chubby tub. Oh. Look at it. Oh, it's so nice. She loves it. See it? She does. Oh, I'm does sorry, squirrel, people. Does Squirrel let you do it? this? Can you see Look, that? Or can this... only I see that? What? Nothing. Look at no. Panko. I have five brothers, Tommy. Love you. Panko's just from the East Coast. Panko well, is like you. that's really funny. I am too. She's from Rhode Island. Oh, that's not the East Coast. Don't start with that. She's from New York. Yeah, good try. If she was from New York, it, we would have had a much different conversation. Okay, She's definitely you need to not chill from it. New York. You need to shut up or I'm leaving. You're hurting my feelings. What do you think? Of Look that? at Tommy I'll on leave, this channel, I'll guy. Real quick. I'll leave I real love quick. it. I'll Damn, leave real quick. I got, I got an appointment for Church Eats Chicken. I could be doing. I was actually running Swing two hours. Swing that in. dick. Swing and dick. Keep it up. I'm ready. You have no idea. I'm ready. Babe, seriously, I have something I want to talk about. Well, I'll knock it out. Okay, be nice and listen. He's sassy. Listen up. I'm serious. Are you ready to listen? I'm listening. Okay. I'm listening. A couple things. I love Tommy on this new channel, guys. I love his spice. I love his zest. It gets me going in a lot of ways. Um, Babe, eyes up here. No, my eyes will go where they want, but knock yourself out. What were you saying? I'm listening hey, to you. Hey, sass. Hey, Sass, two weeks from tomorrow, Jessica Colley, two weeks from tomorrow. And hey, Sarah Browett, and uh, just for the weekend, I'm coming for the weekend, but listen, but listen. Do I need to be looking at something? No, no, I, I didn't text you. I was hoping you were texting me. Not at all. Um, I'm coming to Phoenix. And we're going to do Phoenix probably on Saturday. And we're going to do, depending on when I get in though, Friday. Might might do Phoenix on Friday. And then uh, where do you live? Tucson on Saturday. How does that sound? Are you asking me? Yeah. Or are you, or are you asking the crowd? I don't know. I thought we talked about this and we didn't know we're going to have to hear from uh, where everybody else is before we can, we, we may end up having to do both of the days that you're going to be here in, uh, in Phoenix. It just depends Phoenix. on where everybody, yeah, it just depends on where everybody is and what everybody wants to do. It, it's, I don't think it's something we're going to be able to figure out now that people know that this is when it's coming. Um, I think like Jessica Colley says, I'm in for real. Right. So once we start understanding how many people are going to come, if we got, if it's going to be more convenient to split it in half, because it's going to make it easier for half of the people to get wherever, but yeah, it just because I'm not, and I would imagine, I'm not there for that long. That's why it, we just, we don't know. Yeah, It's a short one. And, and, and then you end up spending a chunk of time driving between the two places. So it may make, it may just make more sense to, uh, to stay. Oh, Shelly in, Kelly. She'll go, right? Doesn't she live there? Yeah, and I would imagine that Bacon Bits, I didn't see him here, but Bacon Bits, Ben Turner will probably come. He's close. Okay. Hi, right? Katie Bowles. I love people. you, girl. Phoenix is the hottest city in the USA uh, most of the time. Like temperature-wise? What does that mean? Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, temperature -wise. okay. It can hit um, 130 in the summer. Does Tucson? Aren't they, like, no. really close? Tucson. Well, they're about an hour and a half away, but their elevation changes. It's considerably cooler in Tucson than it is in Phoenix, considerably. I've lived in both, and it's night and day. No, Jessica Colley, so far nobody is coordinating it. Hold on. It's well, an that's hour and a half? Yeah. I think, I, think, I think it's like an hour and a half. It's, like an hour, it's not long. It's I do it all the time. I drive there all the time. I've got family. Because now I feel kind of guilty, Tommy. Guilty I didn't know that. What? About me I didn't driving? Know it was that, yeah, I didn't know it was that long of a drive. I go there all the time it's it may not even be that it's not that long i promise you i go there all the time i've got i have family in tucson i mean in phoenix it is not a um uh okay but okay. I, you know what the the uh 
it's it, you really have to experience how it is here. People talk about the stuff until you've been in, in Arizona. People think 80 degrees and they think Florida or they think 80 degrees in the places they've been. And it's nothing like that because, you know, when when the dew point hits 40 degrees, we have a monsoon. So we have zero humidity. Once it gets to a point where humidity would start, we have a monsoon. All of the water in the sky drops at once. It's the craziest crap you ever saw. Do you guys I mean, get a lot of rain? Like, does it rain year round the there? Twice a year. We get two rainy seasons and they last for probably about 30 days uh, a piece, 25 days a piece. Like, and did you straight? Is the, no, no. Oh. But during the monsoons, it rains damn near every night, but it'll only rain for like an hour or two hours. But when it rains, it opens up, like the sky opens up and it's, it's, if you're into rugged weather, like tough, blow your hair back weather, then Arizona is pretty crazy. And, and it can happen like here and then, you know, 40 feet away, it looks like, you know, it'll be sunny in one spot and just the ugliest weather you've ever seen in another. It really is a, uh, it's a bizarre place weather wise, but hmm. in, at the end of this month, you're not going to be into the really hot season in, uh, in, in Phoenix. That's, it, it starts getting ugly June, July, August, even uh, May. May, June, July, August, but April's not so bad. I mean, it might get up to, you know, 90, whatever. And it gets really bad there in the summer. I mean, it'll in, in where I live, we'll have a yeah. couple of days that get up into the 115s, 120s, but not, and it only lasts for about 45 days. For 45 days, you don't go out much. You know, you spend a lot of time in, in restaurants and bars and you spend a lot of time in malls. You spend a lot of time in your house and everybody's got a pool, you know? So if you go outside, it's probably because you're jumping in the water. Uh, but Phoenix, that, that hot stretch lasts a lot longer and, and a Phoenix summer goes on for you know, three months, four months, you know, Whoa. It's a, it's a, I wonder why the it's difference experience elevation. I live in the, oh. I live when you see where I live, I don't live down where Phoenix is. I'm up in the mountains. So as you start gaining in elevation, you start, the temperature starts getting a whole lot cooler. In fact, from where I live, I can take you to a place where the temperature will be 10 degrees colder just because of how high we drive, right? I mean, easily. I can take you to a place where it'll be 20 degrees colder, but it, that's a much higher drive and then you got to hike half of it. But for about every 1,000 to 1,500 feet you go up, it gets really cold. I used to skydive and you could get into an airplane and I used to skydive in a place called Beeville, Texas or, or Gulf, Texas, either one. But you get on the ground and it's 105 degrees and when you jump out of the airplane, you're at like 48, right? Oh, wow. S same day, right? It's just that you're 35,000 feet off the ground. It starts getting a whole lot colder the uh, the more you go up. But desert heat, it was really different. O honestly, people don't, until you get an appreciation for it, because when you get here and I'll go, what do you think the temperature is? Because I do this to people that, that haven't been to Arizona constantly and they'll go, you know, 80. And you'll go, no, no, it's like 98. Because the difference be, with zero humidity, you just don't feel it. It's not. So like can it. I ask, do you not, I don't understand that. Like, do you not get sweaty then? You do even not though get you're... sweaty. You don't. You have to stay outside for a much longer period of time to get sweaty. Whereas when I lived in Houston and it would be a hundred degrees, walking from the door to the mailbox to get your mail, your shirt would stick to your back. You would just be instantly like sticky. And here that doesn't like happen. Like Florida? Yeah. Yeah. Florida is a great example. Florida is also very humid. You know, uh, we don't have any water nearby, right? To cause any humidity. We're, we're dead. We're landlocked. It's just hot as hell. Um, but again, everybody's got a pool. Um, That's so, so weird. I've never been there and I've never been to Texas where it's dry. I've never been to any of those places. Texas is very humid. I mean, depending on where in Texas, but like I lived in Houston and it was the most humid place I've ever lived. I mean, it was really, really humid, but it's, I mean, I it's have to, very different. If I had to pick, I would want to live somewhere like Arizona then because I don't want to be sweaty. Like That's I would like the, to move to Savannah, but it's so humid there. Yeah. I think Savannah is one of those places that would be great to own a home and not live there year round. Right. Yeah. Your hair will stay perfect <laughs> in Arizona. Women talk about that all the time. Your skin also is uh, you, you get, as long as you're, you know, you're swimming in like salt water and stuff, um, you, you, you get moisturized just from, you know, kind of, it's, it's much easier on your skin. It's much easier on your car. You know what I mean? Like when people sell uh, cars and they advertise it as an Arizona car, right? They're always worth more money because nothing rusts. There's no, 
There's no oxidation really that happens here. Houston is a sauna. I loved it. Really? I love Houston, man. Yeah, I loved it, but but it's a really it's a sauna. It's really awful. The humidity is so bad there. You know, really. So okay, well, bad. I'm kind of more excited about this than I was. I did not know that. So I will experience it even though it'll be April. Like, like yeah, because, especially especially because you're not going to be in in Tucson. You're going to be in Phoenix, right? So. Phoenix on average is usually about eight to 10 degrees hotter per day than we are. So on those really ridiculous days when we get up to like 118 or whatever, they're closing in on 130. Wow. Um, and, and look, for a very long time, I said things like, I would never live in a place that's hot, right? I have to live near snow. And then, you know, you get older and, and things kind of change. And I spoke all over the world and I would go out and play golf, right? Or all over the, the uh, US. I very rarely left the US to speak unless I was in Canada, but... I, I spoke all over the place and we would go out and play golf and you just, you learned the different, um, you know, and, and I loved like, I think the greatest, um, I liked San Diego's temperature all year long is perfect, right? It's perfect. But there's a bunch of stuff about San Diego that I didn't like, but the temperature there is incredible, right? I loved it. And here we get, we get that for about seven or eight months. It's perfect. Every day is just perfect. It's not hot. It's not cold. Right. If the wind blows, it's a, it's just a lightly cool breeze. It's How just it's crazy. Perfect. And you guys don't have grass. Yeah, I have grass. Yeah, you have to water it. I mean, it doesn't happen naturally. You have to water it. But that's what I mean. Like you grass. don't drive around everywhere in Arizona, and it's like here where everybody has a yard. No, a lot of people have lawns, but but they pay for them. You have to you have to water the crap out of it. Your water bill is going to be three hundred and fifty bucks a month if you have a lawn. You know, it becomes a you know a thing. What if you have dogs? Where do they go potty if they don't have grass? Wherever they want. You know, there's a lot of rock. There's a lot of, I mean, dogs don't have a problem taking a, you know, but I, I personally, I have a lawn. Um, I have a small one by my pool, but I have, I have grass. And Scottsdale somebody Nancy told, does as well. Well, speaking of Scottsdale, uh, somebody told me that I would really like Scottsdale. Is that Scottsdale's a cool place? Gorgeous. Scottsdale is gorgeous. You'd love Scottsdale. Yep. You would. Um, but you know, maybe and, I should get a place there. How far away is that from Phoenix? Not far. No, Scottsdale and Phoenix are really, for all intents and purposes, almost the same place. I mean, they, they're oh. very close, very close to one another. It's like a okay. different part of Phoenix almost. It's not, but it is. They're very close. Great golf. Some of the best golf in America since Scottsdale. Oh, good, because I'm a huge golfer. Somehow I had three YouTube tabs open and I created my own echo. I have seen this happen. <laughs> I've seen Don. This. Where's the turquoise? Yes, Katie. I'm definitely going to look for some. Lisa says, uh, Reese, you will love Scottsdale. Uh, great shopping. You know, I was in Mexico and I was looking at a bunch of turquoise, but I just, I was, I would have to take you with me. Maybe when you're here, we could take a day trip to Mexico. Huh? We'll film it. Would that be fun? We'll take everybody with like us. I'll... 10 hours away. No, love. We, we could have you across the border in about 45 minutes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's what if we a, can't get back? Hour and hour and twenty minutes stops round trip. It's not a it's not a long trip. Will they let us back in? Yes, yes. You have a passport, right? Yeah. Do I need to bring it? Yeah, that would be a good idea. Scottsdale is not scared. quite as hot as Phoenix, no. Wait, wait. Hold on. I just thought of something. Yes. Do they have good Mexican food there? In Mexico? Oddly yeah. enough, they only serve Italian. <laughs> I was, you cannot know how blown away I was. Here I am, I cruise across the border. I think, you know, probably going to get a decent taco or enchilada here. No, no. I had calzones, you know. No way. Angel hair pasta. Yeah, yeah, you sure. cannot be telling me the Gnocchi truth right now. Blew me away. Nothing but Italian food. They do not. No, no, they don't. <laughs> okay. Tommy. <laughs> You're being no, a little no, sass. No. You're being a lot sass. No, they don't have that at all, man. They've got tons and tons of um, of Mexican food. Now, you got to be careful, right? I mean, you, you kind of got to be careful. You want to... Oh, you wanna, can you get you sick? Kinda, can you get the scoots? You can get the scoots, man. <laughs> you can get the scoots. In fact, they call, it, they call it Montezuma's Revenge. And, uh, I don't want to eat there different. then. No, um, I don't want to eat know, there. Here's the really funny thing. Here's the really funny thing. People always go... Especially if you live near the border, people go, man, I bet you get the best Mexican food in the whole world. You know where the best Mexican food in the whole world is? <laughs> I think so, Mark. I promise you. Yeah. Man. 
Okay, so can you take me, when we're there, can you take me to get some Mexican food in Arizona? Absolutely. And I, and I really do want to take you to Mexico. I think you would dig it. And, but not for, I think you would dig it to go to the stalls and look at, and look at all the little stuff. Just, yeah, I, I know you would dig it. Just for really? a short time. Yeah, you would dig it. I know you would. I promise you, you would. And we'll film it, man. We'll film it. It's fun. It's not a, it's not a, it's, it, it's a very easy process. You just drive, um, you just, you know, you drive, we park in America and we just take a footbridge across and then you're there and we just walk around and we'll get something to eat and, and I'll let you no, get no, freaked out by all of the things that, you know, the weirdos that are trying to sell you stuff, you know, cause it's that kind of, whenever you're on a border town, you know, what about Tubac? Yeah. Drive right through it. Every time we do, we yell Tubac, Shakur. It's a, it's a I don't think I want to. Yeah, I'm not comfortable getting the scoots around Tommy, and then it would be even worse to get the scoots and like crap in his car, and that's probably what would happen. You know what? I and do we could we could film it. We could film that. Do you know what I do when I'm in Mexico? Um, I eat. I don't eat things that have vegetables because they tend to wash them in water. Right? There's just certain things like a fish taco. You're in good shape. You're not going to get sick on a fish taco. I do really well with fish tacos. I've I've spent a lot of time in Mexico and there's things that you can eat. However, your best bet is to go to Mexico and look at like the cool things Joe. that the na that natives make, right? That the, that the native people make and buy some of that stuff, carry it across the border. And then we'll go to a really good Tex-Mex restaurant right on the other side of the border, right? Instead of eating in Sonora, we'll eat in, uh, in you know, the American side. You don't have to eat in Sonora. Joe virus, you know it, man. You know that's what would happen. The problem is, though, then I'd have to get into Tommy's car and we would be streaming it. And that's kind of the worst thing I can think of. That's probably the worst thing I can think of. So look at Tommy and go, I just crapped myself. We have to get into your car. Uh, he would leave me in Mexico, too, by the way. I'm sure he would. He would stream and drive away. That is um, so, so uncool. The number of times I've crapped my pants. If by some chance you dropped a deuce, I would be like, Babe, lean against the car, grab my coat, wrap it around you. I'm going to go buy some sweats. I got this. Don't trip. And then I'll be walking in like, you don't understand. Like it's a murder scene. You have any idea how many times this happened? I would be like, look, I'm going to need baby wipes, right? I need a one gallon thing of water. I need two sponges. I'm going to need a fresh thing of underwear and some, and some sweats. Gloves. Stat. Stat. Right? You got to get in the phase in the zone. Right? And I'm not kidding. She's not happy. Hurry up. You got a towel? Oh my God, that happened to the Sopranos. He says, get some bleach and some gloves and show up at our friend's house. That's yeah. what would happen. And some Visqueen. Um, where would you throw your undies? Peace lady, clearly you didn't watch my stream yesterday. I crapped my pants once and threw my underwear against the side of a building. Yeah, um, that's, that's... yeah. yeah, just yeah, <laughs> Joe Virus says, just, just bring a whole extra outfit, Reese. Um, oh, he all, could put me in all, the trunk. First of all, if you do not have a full set in your car, you're a rookie. No joke. A full you don't set have a, of you what? Don't have a, you don't have a pair of underwear and a pair of pants in your car? I don't you're have a, stone, a wrapper a in my car. You are a stone cold rookie. You are a stone cold rookie. I've never I'm shit in a, a car. Trip. I've never shit in a car before. No, but you got to wherever you went when you shit yourself, didn't you? Right? You had to get there somehow. Do you always yeah, do it at your I, home? I, I might. Actually, I might have seen Joe virus is a pro Joe virus gets it. Joe virus need... peed his pants DJing now. Didn't see that coming. Yeah. He shit his pants twice. Uh, DJing. Was it twice Joe? And then he put, um, he peed his pants once DJing. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I have never peed my pants uh, except for once when I, um, passed out from drinking and I had a dream in my, uh, dr in my, uh, in my dream. <laughs> I was in the military and there was and a guy yelling peeing. at me. There was a guy a yelling at everybody. I, he was yelling at everybody. He's like, if you're going, you're going now. Like he's yelling at everyone. I'm sitting there going, man, I don't have to pee. And he's yelling at everyone. I was like, all right, I'll go. I'll go. And Why I, is everybody saying and, they carry clothes in their car? I have really nice clothing. I'm not just going to put a cute, nice outfit in a car. It'll wrinkle. I'll forget it's there. Um, oh, once DJing, twice peeing. Oh, so he crapped his pants DJing once and then he peed twice. Yeah, um, I like to I like to keep an, an entire fresh stock in there. And by the way, usually as close as possible to uh, to unisex. So I go with sweatpants. You know, I go with like boxer briefs, so that if anybody in the car happens to find themselves in the same situation, I got some backup stuff. Right. By the way, everything goes. Right. You know that, right? Everything goes. What, what does that it mean? Go, like throw it away. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh everything yeah. I would that, never say that I, I shat. In. No, everything yeah. that I shat in goes into a bag. And I hate to be this guy. I'm just going to be honest. Every single time it's happened, I've never been able to make it to a trash can. I, I littered on the side of the road. I did. I just, I know. Tommy. Judge me. Judge me. I can't have it in the car, man. I mean, it's just a reminder of the fact that I'm a 40 something year old man at the time who couldn't keep his, you know what, together, literally and figuratively. Yeah. It's, uh, you I'm not littered? You couldn't keep that in the car? Wait a second. Did you just literally give me that look and go, Tommy, you littered? We have found out in the last couple of days, what what have you done? Think of the things that you've come clean to doing, right? Tr bless you. Trashing um, cars, carving up people's motorcycles, butthole surfing with a uh, toothbrush on a dog's hiney okay, for your boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Viciousness. What else did I miss? Because I, I remember a couple of them yesterday. There was something Why else. Don't you try being nice. To. I am 53. The last time I remember a good, um, a really good incident where I was out in public doing that, I was in my 40s. Um, my last two defecations were very private. I mean, in the ones that I didn't make it to the toilet for, the last two were very private. I was there for good. one of them. You were talking to me for one of them. No. Mm -hmm. It sucked. Because I was like a mile out. You were. Yeah, that was bad. That was really too bad. Um, kind of makes me feel better about throwing my undies on the side of a building. At least I was... <laughs> I love that face so much. It's just foul. Peace Lady says she threw a shit full underwear in the bushes. Eh, I'm not mad at her. I did. I think you should have... I think you should have a um, a backup. Uh, I never car. thought of that before. Do you know I've never thought of that? Um, Tommy still has his gall gallbladder. And Mark, I love you. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, no, I still have a um, I still have a gallbladder. Um, but you've crapped your pants about as much as I have so far this year, haven't you? Aren't we like Tw a couple? Twice We've this year. Yeah, I've done two. Twice this um, year. I think one of ours was within the same week. I thought that was kind of sweet. We do a lot of I things sneezed. together, you guys. Yeah, I sneezed. And, I uh, like to. I like it when we time our stuff and do it together. That's always the best case scenario, right? I like that about you. What Short else, week. You know? um, Short week. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, Panko. Uh, I, I don't something? have. No, can I say something? Because we're on a different platform over here. I had something I happen to me. I would have. I had something happen to me that I've never shared on the lifeboat because I don't want the lifeboat. I didn't want the lifeboat to become a different channel, right? I am a, a survivor of something that required them to remove a bunch of insides out of me, so I have some issues back there, right? And uh, I had the big C. And I don't want to to get into the to I don't want to ever be a cancer show with all due respect to the people who have it. Right. It, it very quickly becomes a lot of people that want to talk about what they what they've endured. And God bless them. But that isn't where I was going. You know what I mean? But um, I, know. I survived adenocarcinoma. And so but it does make a, a bit of a difference when you explain this. Right. Your husband's a survivor, too. God bless. Um, but I had adenocarcinoma and they removed a bunch and I'm healthy as hell. But since then, it's been a little bit. A little bit more uh, unpredictable. It's, it's an amazing yeah. story, Tommy. It is. You told me the story, and I'm I I love the story. It's amazing. And V Miraculous. McWilliams, I went to Houston for it, by the way. MD Anderson, best place in the world. But uh, so we do have a lot in common. You just have your gallbladder, and I went a different route. But it's one of the reasons that a good sneeze, honestly, like sneezes are the worst. You know, you you do that kind of cute girl sneeze, and I not being sexist, but it's kind of a cute girl sneeze. Because it doesn't sound like mine where I sound like I'm attacking something. You know what I mean? You do like, hee, 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 kind of a you know, cute little thing. That sounded like I, swirl. A little bit, yeah. Well, that's kind of the noise you make, though. If I do hold that stuff in, if I if I try to hold in a sneeze, forget about it. <laughs> it's, it is a wrap. I'm literally, it's the fastest way to go to the bathroom is to just hold in the sneeze. If I hold in the sneeze, I just go, it's over. It's over. Just that. But quickly. you do have a really cute nose. You know what? 
I, uh, if I had a dollar for every time someone said that, I couldn't even buy a, a bacon double cheeseburger. <laughs> That's not true. I tell you all the time I love your nose. I said how many people, right? You are the only person that has ever said that. I can't <laughs> find that to be true. It's the you have a huge nose. It's not one that usually gets out of people. I love your nose. Um, um, but real quick, because I don't want to drag this out if you don't want to. I mean, I'm happy to be here, but I don't know if you have life plans. You know, I don't know your life. Um, I want you guys to keep that in mind because I'm not going to be in Arizona for very long and I want to um, do all the fun stuff, but I would like to meet a lot of you. And uh, it just sounds like a fun time, don't you think? Oh, here's the thing. Um, it also kind of depends. I mean, we, we're trying to schedule everything and get it into a perfect, um, you know, way to, I love that too. I think it's Thank you, K-Wax. Hat. Thank you. I love that. Hat. Um, I am of the firm belief that if we could get, the more people we could get, you know, to see us, the better. However, if we're not monetized, you know, in that, well, then I'm going to need to take you to the zoo which was part of the bet. See, if I, if I win, she has to go to the zoo with me. If she wins, I take her shoe shopping. I want to go to the zoo. Big noses are sexy, says Saguaro Christmas. Then I am. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember that being uh, part of the bet. Well, that's because I probably used a different euphemism, like not doing my taxes. This time I'm going with taking you to the, uh, but it's just a, yeah, see, oh boy, Kathy Ann gets it. I don't get it. What does it mean? Insert your favorite foul, um, whatever. Reese doesn't yeah. like zoos. I know that's one of the reasons I chose that as the uh, euphemism. I'm going to need a little time to get you alone, Reese, so that you and I can talk about you losing your bet. That sounds dirtier than it is. Well, maybe it doesn't, but it should. Yeah, I don't like zoos. But guys, I don't think he means the real zoo. I just don't know what it means. I love you, Millie. Um, Tana Jenkins, you are a star. I um we'll we'll find out uh, behind the scenes what he means, but um Tommy, do you think we can we should do that in 2 days or 1 day? Like should we try to do a just a meetup? Like do you think people who live in Tucson will drive to Phoenix Absolutely. for a meetup? So Absolutely. I don't think we need to do, what I'm saying is now that I know the distance I haven't heard of it either. Cinderella's glass slipper. Um, like if, if we don't have time to go to Tucson and I just come to Phoenix, cause that's where I'm flying in. Um, do you think people will come from Tucson and, and meet us? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it, it is really not that far drive and it's not a bad drive. Joe virus. You nailed it in and out animal style. She could have the fries and do an animal style. There's nothing in there that she wouldn't like. You're, you're not, vegan right you're just you just uh vegetarian. no i'm the i'm the fat kind of vegetarian i eat cheese enchiladas why what does in and out animal style mean well and see in and out has this entire menu that isn't on the menu thank you sarah so, so you have to kind of know what you're um what you're looking for right so one of the the things that you can order that's not on the menu is called animal style and it's a way they have of taking onions and dicing them up really fine and then melting cheese in with it and then putting that cheese on top of things that's called animal style and the animal style you can make anything in their animal style right they'll dump that that stuff on top of anything i prefer it on burgers but it's also excellent on fries animal style what does that double, have to double. do with the zoo what does that have to do with the zoo they were um Look, don't, don't you see now you're getting mean and sounding lippy. The zoo was not really a zoo. It was a way I was animal style is so good. Happy grandma says, no, you see, um, Joe virus was giving me an out and he was saying, well, you could be taking her to, uh, instead maybe, you know, animal style at animals live at the zoo. Thank you. And, um, you know, it what? Is delicious I'm not wax. I think like from it. this planet. So, uh, Riley's human not... at least probably three times, maybe a week, Tommy, do you think you can, do you think you have that kind of stamina to eat what three times a week to do what, what am I, what was the question to stream on this channel? 
Oh, stamina I got. Thank you, Joe Virus. We can do this with however you, you feel comfortable with. Let's start Let's start with the uh, three and see if people watch more than that. If they do, I'd like to do, uh, you know. Would you guys watch three times a week? Um, somebody said something about Sedona. Is that far away? Uh, I don't know how far Sedona is from where I live. I don't think it is. People are always... Oh, maybe I'm wrong because it's saying, yeah. Oh, no, they're answering how many times they would uh, they would watch us. I don't think Sedona is too far away. I could look it up, though. Oh, Mark Hardman, I love you. Okay, so yes, yes, definitely to three times a week. Maybe we do four. I love chatting with Tommy. I love chatting with him. Um, yeah, I have, a, I have a pretty good time with this. Do you? I do. Kim okay. Gaines says, yes. of course I would. You do, Lisa. Here's the thing, Tommy, though. Here's the thing. Five oh, that's, a, that's, yeah, that's, too, a, that's too that's far. A, that's too that's far. A good, that's a good drive. Sedona. That's too far. That's a good drive. Uh, here's the thing, Tommy. The whole point, though, to this channel, we don't want you to feel overwhelmed. Like, I want this to be a fun place for you. Guys, we're not uh -huh. putting out any emails. We're not going to do any of that. We're I just... don't have any emails. I'm not answering anything. We're coming here and we're that's hanging right. out. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Um... So I just, I want to take it and, and as well as you can, as much as you can take it, as much stamina as you have, I want to I will tell you really this. get my money's worth. I really want to uh, ride it hard, but not too much. Okay, then. I will say this. I have never not had fun doing this. Good. This is me a, too. I've always had not, fun. This is not the part that bothers me. The part that bothers mm -hmm. me is the vocal minority of, of shit wagons who want to determine what I should do in every direction, right? And can reach out because in the beginning, I gave people the opportunity to reach out because I was really working one-on-one -on -one with a lot of people. And sadly, it was a format that could uh, that could kill you. You know what? I've had a few people tell me they have this kitty cup. Someone actually sent me a picture uh, of them drinking out of it. So um, yeah, there's a, it's a popular cup. Mara, yes. Um, okay, I just want to uh, I want to make sure, Tommy, seriously, that like we keep your keep you cool, calm. You know, the whole point of this is to not feel like you have to do anything, but because you want to. And uh, I, uh, I was trying to I wink, love... but I just did it with both eyes. Did you see that? I was like, I caught that. I caught the double wink. It's not nearly as uh, flirtatious, but laughing is a good thing, so I'll take it. Uh, um, you want to throw that one more time at me? But I yeah, want you to... You were almost there. That time, one of them closed like a split second before the other one. I want to make sure that it's on your terms. You know, I, I, oh, I want, I want to make this. sure that, no, let, you know, I want to make sure this. that I'm more, you're more in charge and I'm more the submissive one. Well, not here, but yeah, we can work that out. I know, I know how you roll. No, listen, here's the deal. <laughs> um, I love, I love this. I have more fun doing this than I do doing anything. So let's, let's start out doing a few and see what happens. I don't get, um, you know what, they're, they're, we're not going to give them an avenue to complain. And if I jump somebody's crap today, that's why. And, I, and I'm not a jerk. Don't, don't hear me out, please. But that was the purpose of this channel. So if you don't like me, don't come here. And if you don't like Reese, stay your ass away. Cause I'm going to lose my shit. If you talk bad about her here, right? Aww. I am believe it. You know, I saw, I saw names of people from the boat. I'm glad you're here. Right. But if you're, if you're someone that's coming over just to check it out, if you were someone that complained on the other one, I'll block you before you get a chance to say a word. Right. For real. Cause that's why I did this. Cause I don't feel like hearing it. Feel me. Mm -hmm. So over here, we're going to have a good time. I'm not playing any of that. I'm really and not. Babe, we can have will. all kinds of fun. We can, we can yeah, joke, can. we can clown. I'm just not going to have people that don't like me or you here. And that's all and I was saying earlier. I don't want people saying that. No, I'm a very, I'm a, I'm a kind guy. I promise you. Um, I promise Luna you. Lynn, he's going to fix it after today's show. So don't worry about it. Um, Who's Luna and, Luna? uh, oh, she just said, fix it to where Reese can click on comments too. We will, we will. No, oh, no I don't intend to, I don't intend to be on this side of it. If you have no, the only reason that I am is because there was a process of trying to figure this out. And unfortunately, while we were having a maze race to do it, somehow I actually figured it out. If one of them had figured it out first, I wouldn't have been having to deal with any of this. I don't like this part of it. I just want to talk. I really, yeah, really dig it. 
And babe, I know that's why that's why we're doing it. And uh, Stacey Sullivan, thank you so much. Allison, I saw your comment on Facebook. I love you too. And I know you were confused, but this is Tommy's choice and I respect it. And you know what? Like Spang said, he's surprised this didn't happen sooner. The guy needs a break. And um, what was the comment on this? Um, oh, she just said, I am also alarmed and angry that idiots ran you off of your own channel. They didn't. No, honestly, they didn't. Let me make sure that that, that doesn't get uh, uh, misquoted or anything else. Nobody ran me off my own channel. Here's what happened. I've done a lot of, uh, if, if I did a 40 hour a week job doing the lifeboat, it would take more than a year to do the videos that I've done. That's recording just the video parts. Right. So add into that all of the people that I talked to and I started to develop um, an anger toward the audience. Not any one of them. You couldn't say to me, which person do you dislike? Because at one at a time, they're the most intricate and beautiful people on earth. 20,000 of them become an entity that just start to drain you. And that's what was starting to happen. And I have a son who really is uh, is wanting to do exactly what I do. And it just seems like, you know what? Me stepping away from this, uh, and especially when it came to this, right? And I, I don't want this to be a lifeboat show, but here's what it came to. I, I made about six grand a month on Danny Masterson, right? And I don't make six wow. grand a month on everything else I do combined. For real, that's the entire paycheck. But I'm glorifying a rapist, no matter how I talk about that dude, right? I'm talking about a rapist four times a week. And I don't want to do those shows. I feel guilty to the victims, whether I have a right to feel that way or not, because people have yelled at me and said, you don't know what they like. I don't. I don't. But I'm not going to ask them. And I'm just going to stop recording. Right. So for that reason, when Reese and I do shows, it's the same thing. I get the same number of views. Right. A ton of people show up. But I got a vocal minority that wants to scream so much. And what happens is I start getting bitter. So I just said, I'm not doing bitter. I don't want to be the people. I got friends that no lie, hate their audience. They will say it to you. These people pay their, their bills and they'll go, I hate them. I can't stand any one of them. I don't want to be that dude. I'd rather not, not have a show. So this way I go in and out. I don't have to spend a ton of time there. Spanky is fired up and rare to go where I was three years ago. And what he's I enjoy amazing, doing most. He's amazing, by the way. He's amazing. Spanx, Spanx rocked it. I yeah. just want to say that because I don't watch YouTube, Tommy. I do not no. watch people. And I watched him and he was entertaining. I love his dry humor. It's right up my alley. But I mean, he just, he nailed it. I, I think the kid's a total natural. And I love that he's got a big platform to even start with. He's no, got a huge cool. group of supporters. I just yeah, think he's going to, cool. I think he's going to do great. And he's going to, and I think he'll bring some, uh, some younger people in, which is cool, right? Spanx tends to attract a, a younger audience, which is cool because a lot of people need to, uh, Hey, that's not off subject in and out grilled cheese animal style. And I have had that. I just forgot that is actually viciously good. I would totally shit myself, but it would probably be worth it. I love a grilled cheese, but it, it often makes me shit myself. Well, that's okay. You know what? Here's the deal. First of all, we both know we do it, right? So if you were to drop a deuce, if by some chance you 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 come up and you go, hey, come here. No, I mean it. Come here. I shit myself. I'll just do this one here. Give me a fist bump, right? Don't sit down for God's sake, because that's terrible. Get get a. You want to lean on a pole, and I'm just going to give you a little advice for anyone who's done this. Try to try to keep your legs a little bit spread as you lean on the pole. I promise. You want to, you want to create a little bit of a little bit of a, uh, of a of a tent action, and then just wait for me to come back and save the day. I got this. You do this to someone else, they're going to go, you did what? I'm going to be like this. Don't trip. I got this, right? Lean on the pole. I got this. Been there, done that. I'm a pro. Okay. Greatest let me thing ask you got going else. for me. What if I, uh, what if I throw up? Didn't I throw up with I, when I was with you? I throw up more than anybody on earth. For real. You don't throw up as much as I do. Nobody throws up as much as I do. Again, an affectation of, so to bring everybody up to speed, I also went on a hunger strike for a hellaciously long period of time. That's big error, good. big, big error. And my stomach has never been right ever. I mean, I don't, I have a very odd, uh, I have a very odd constitution, but no, I blow chunks on the regular. But on the bright side, it's happened so often that I'm a guy that right now, if I was talking to you like this, I could go, yeah, so, you know, you're going to be coming into Phoenix. <laughs> Should be about 3.30, right? I mean, I don't miss a beat. I'm telling you, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. It's the, yeah, 
So sorry about that. Don't let that bother you. Come for your daughter, Chuck. See that? Look um, at that smile. It's so when you smile like that, it's so beautiful. It really is. Now do the other one. Go on. Do the do other it. one. You know that you, you see you heard the sigh first, so she's bluffing because you know the one I'm talking about. Give us the No, beautiful. I don't. Oh. Now, when she does that, which she does very often because because when she gets angry at me, she does that. That's the only time it's it's a little but that's not a smile that's that's an animal showing its teeth oh no no you want you want an animal uh showing the teeth yeah, let's i can do that do one. it please there. yeah oh, that's an animal. That's yeah an animal that's my favorite there. that's my favorite i've seen it before i saw it somewhere didn't i i uh i was out of town but if you did then i bet it was excellent it's weird because <laughs> i was too um, you know, now yeah. you're just going to start rumors for the love I'm kind of trying to. I'm kind of trying to. We really do not I was kind of, I'm kind of liking the rumor startup. I'm enjoying it. I've heard different you things. Started and it was last just... night. When, when did this start? Cause I already had somebody write me. So I, I had a, uh, somebody wrote me and said, Hey, on the real, were you guys? And I was like, yeah. 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 No, Might kidding. as well. I'm kidding. We're just, we're dialing it up. Yeah. And, and good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you just said, but uh, I liked it and it looked good. Yeah, it was. Uh, I yeah, I like to pot. stir the pot. Yeah, yeah, I like to stir the pot. Um, but you know uh, something? I, this may this may be the highest compliment that anybody has ever paid to me. Where's Johnny Scoville when I need him? <laughs> what does that mean? You know, that that's uh, that's Charlie Sheen's reference. <laughs> Winning Tiger Blood. I have tiger blood. You don't remember his meltdown? Oh, it was great. Mm -hmm. I was That's in right. Scientology. Tiger blood. Yeah. You didn't see any of the meltdown when he was living with the two prostitutes? Oh, man. No. So he had two live in, uh, oh, not prostitutes. That's, I, I'm sorry. If you're a prostitute, I apologize. These were adult workers from the um, adult film industry. Totally different. He referred to them as the goddesses. And not going to go with the uh, goddess thing yet. You know what I mean? She was uh, maybe a little, maybe a little skanky to be a goddess, but he lived with two of them and he filmed their escapades. A lot of, a lot of it having to do with crack cocaine, but he would come on and yell winning and talk a lot about what? He, had, he had tiger blood. Yeah. I'll, I'll play it for you. Well, uh, when you come out to visit, I will show you all of it. Is it, Sex worker, is that the wrong one? Beachcomber, I don't know. What, what's the good term for them? The, um, I don't know. Why is prostitute not a term for it? Is that not a term we can use anymore? I don't think people, uh, I don't think people like that word. I was a worker once, people. What do you think of that? I was a, I was a sex worker, so I'm not shaming them. I, I worked in that line of work for a while. My favorite was winner, winner, sheen dinner. Good one. I remember that. I don't shame sex workers. I just don't like it when they sleep with married men. I agree with you. Sex, sex workers, workers are the term we use now. Okay. Sex workers. Okay. This makes me think of the George Carlin thing where we went from shell shock to post-traumatic stress disorder. That's right. Uh, but what's, not, but I mean, along the way, we had to go to battle fatigue yep. syndrome, right? Yes. Through, battle fatigue. As you add more sil syllables. Huh? And I remember he was like, I'm not handicapped. I'm handy capable. Yeah, he had like what, a whole thing of them. What are those rates? This conversation bring me, brings me back to a uh, to a thought. Uh, you know what? I, I You may not believe this, but um, when when I did it, uh, I was not, I was going in and dancing. I was not, in theory, I wasn't doing anything other than that. I was a, uh, I was a dancer, right? Sometimes it doesn't work like that because it's uh, one of those occupations where things get out of control. But I was not, I think, I think I would have been called an exotic dancer, but I think I was probably more of a sex worker because a lot of times you're not doing it in bars. You're doing it in like people's homes and stuff. You do um, bachelorette parties, although I did very few but of those. Is sex worker actually having sex does that does that have to classify as a sex worker if you were not having sex with people that's probably not a sex worker i think if you're wearing I, nothing 
right? I mean, and uh, you know, there's there's probably my question is know. though is prostitute now an offensive term? Did I sleep through something? I didn't know that. Well, I don't why know. would they that do... be? If... Well, again, um, we we do more more uh, more syllables makes things. Sex workers could be a prostitute, but they could also be a dom, a stripper, etc. Gotcha. Thank you, Teresa. Okay, stripper... sex workers don't always sleep with their clients, really. Got you. Okay, so the, yeah, then technically is what uh, that is what I would have been. So then, I'm wait, getting... what would you call a person that always sleeps with their clients? Would that be a prostitute? I think so. I think that. And that's what's wrong with that out. word? I mean, I don't know. I don't know that that word seems <laughs> offensive to me, but. No. I mean, I I've, guess I could uh, see hooker. I don't know that I ever liked uh, that word, but prostitute? What? Nothing. <laughs> see, this is where I don't talk about this stuff because I came out of where I came out of, and those are the words I know. So No, I'm not picking on I'm you. I'm trying... laughing at a comment. I'm laughing at a comment. Oh, I was going to say, I'm not trying to offend anybody right now. It's no, just those no, words no, I know. No, um, no, magic Tommy as opposed to magic Mike. I was getting a, uh, a laugh out of that is what I was getting a laugh. Oh, okay. Strippers are not prostitutes. To be sure, they're not. Uh, however... From time so to sex time worker is the preferred term. Prostitute has a negative connotation. Why? Um, if it's the same it, thing. Well, but again, you know, it's six to one half dozen of another. They just call them girl, call girls, escorts or sex workers. Oh, all right. I did not know that. For example, a porn star is a sex worker, but not necessarily a prostitute. That makes sense, MJ. That makes sense. You know, sex it does practitioner. And it doesn't. And it doesn't, it doesn't. Because I'll tell you why, right? Because here's what happens. If... If I've got a video camera set up and uh, me and a friend are uh, filming ourselves doing something, let's say Quibble loses a bet. No, I'm kidding. But let's say- Rumors. We're, uh, we're I love let's rumors. We're, we're filming something, right? What okay, movie? So Tell me. Do you know? Do you remember what that's from? Shaving. Let me do it right? exactly. In his, nope. <laughs> Forest rump. Why do you know the, that? The hand that rocks my ladle. <laughs> Beaverly Hills Cop. <laughs> oh. No, what movie? Shaving Ryan's I... Privates. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I love rumors. That was his accent too. I love rumors. What was it? Um. Yes. Christoph Waltz. I know the actor. Inglorious Bastards. Thank you. I knew the actor. I just couldn't think of. Okay, but go on. So let's just say that you're making a tape with me. Okay. Um, the it's it's uh, if I pay you to do that, right? And we do it in the in the right valley in California. You're making a a, a porn film. If you do it any other place, it's pandering because you're paying somebody for sex. So it really, literally, is the exact same thing because pandering, by definition, is paying somebody for intercourse, right? But you're paying somebody on film to have intercourse and that becomes something else. So there's so much gray area around all of that, but, um, and just to answer, I want to sex with their clients. And that is, a Hey, Kristen, real quick, Kristen and Teresa. Uh, maybe it wasn't Teresa. Oh yeah. Someone, Kristen said something like, why would you be mad at the sex worker for sleeping with a married man? Because in my particular case, the sex sex workers were saying, um, to all these men that were married, uh, we know they're married. We're saving their marriages by sleeping with them. So I have a specific kind of a specific where I get a little fired up about it, you know, and it's neither here nor there. We're not going to name any names or anything like that, or which husband, or maybe a future husband or a past husband. But I have, uh, I have experience with that and I don't like, um, my specific experience. It upsets me a little bit. Um, I don't get, mad at all sex workers for sleeping with married men. Cause you're right. It's their job. They're getting paid and who gives a shit? Honestly, it's on the married guy, not them. But in this situation, I get upset when married men go do it and they know the man's married and it just bothers me. It really gets me but cheating. That. Cheating is my biggest uh, reason that I would do time for sure. Like I would have well, to do time. And you know what I would say? I would say that in all honesty, the the scumbag in the uh, in the situation is um, is the guy, for real. And oh, for sure, not her. I, but so, I still don't like it. No, I, and I don't blame you. I was a cheater. I've told you uh, this when I was on when I was on dope. I cheated on every girl that I was uh, I was ever with. 
but I would never cheat with somebody that was married. Because to me, mm-hmm. I was a scumbag, right? But I wasn't going to try to do something, right? I wasn't bringing my scumbaggery to somebody else. I could always just, and this is a stupid thing. It means nothing. It really does. It means nothing. It doesn't make you a good person. But we put these itty bitty little things in our in our way, right? This isn't something I figured out until years after I was sober. But we put these little stupid guidelines in because if we don't cross them, we go, well, I'm a good person, right? That dude's a scumbag. Like he goes out and does exactly what I do, but he's sleeping with married women every single night. That dude's a bad person. I'm not right. a bad person, right? Um, or I would say the people that paid for it, right? Or that, that, not that there's anything wrong with any of it, but I had to put a, a whole bunch of things into my head so that I could, so am I. Um, uh, you know, I am not, and I never could be. Um, I just good, have a but... problem with cheating. You have a problem with cheating, Um I always have. And it's just a big, it's a big hard no for me. Like I've, I've said this Hello, before, Mindy. like you could, uh, you could punch me in the face and I'd probably stick around cheating though. Uh, I have a really hard time with, and, uh, it's just a moral thing for me. It's very wrong. And, uh, I don't, don't love it when a married man goes and sleeps with a sex worker, but is it her fault? Absolutely not. The dude's the scumbag for sure. It's, it is the, it is the dude's fault. Now, that said, right, I completely understand. And I have been in situations where the person that I was with ended up screwing around with somebody else. It's not that person's fault. That person doesn't know that the person I'm with is married or, uh, to me or dating me or anything like that. It's not that person's fault. Now, this was in a different time in my life, right? And I went and did terrible things to that guy. I did. It's not his fault. It was her fault. But guys do stuff like I look at her and I go, oh, my God, hit her in the head. I'm not going to hit a woman. I'd like to go get the guy that did this. And it's not his fault, right? But very often we end up, we would like to blame this on other people. We'd like to blame it on the uh, on the the, uh, the sex worker who's, whether you agree that sex work should be a job or not, it is a job. And, you know, like lawyers represent uh, people who are guilty. Sex workers sleep with people who pay them, right? And sometimes they're married and very often they're married. Very often. I think that they go to sex workers because they are either, they're not getting something that is, uh, you know, important from their marriage. And in which case, guess what? Divorce. And in the cases of people that, you know, sometimes it's not even what you think it is. Sometimes it's some latent homophobic stuff, you know, or homoerotic stuff that they've got in there. And they just want to be in a room with nine other guys that are, uh, that are naked and doing whatever they're doing. There's a lot of weird places out there doing really weird things, you know? Sex workers get paid to go away, says Teresa. Yeah, that's exactly the truth, man. Right? You don't sleep. You don't pay a prostitute to sleep with them. You pay them sex workers to go away. Afterwards, you don't talk to them. You don't have to do anything. You pay them to go away. It's a great that's cliche. What I was told. That's why yeah. um, I've been told that it's a great way to cheat because you don't get the crazy woman that's, you know, Glenn Close in that movie. You got, uh, you, they, and if honestly, if I was a man, married wanted to cheat that's probably what i would do because that is the smart route they're not going to fall in love they're paid to do what they're doing they're professionals it really depends on why the man cheats right not every man cheats for the same reason there are men who cheat because they want intimacy and they're not getting that from their mate same with women there are women who cheat because they want a guy to say that they're beautiful or the guy to mm-hmm. say that i love you or the guy to you say you can pay it's a got sex worker to, to not have sex you can pay a sex worker and take them out to dinner and uh, lay in a bed next to each other and talk and, you know, just uh, have, have their boobs hanging out just so they can grope them, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what people are into, but I absolutely know for a fact, many, 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 many sex workers. And I know many uh, of the guys just from uh, things I know. And right. I have been, I've been told all kinds of stories that they pay for companionship. A lot of, some of these guys have ED and they can't even perform but they're just paying to enjoy their time and go out to dinner with a woman and have her be kind. And I don't have anything. <laughs> Joe virus. Are you spying on me, Reese? There's is rain in here. There's a lot you of dicky. Yeah. I, and guys, honestly, I always find that bar to be kind of sad. I couldn't be a sex worker for that reason. Cause I would feel really mopey and sad about it. I will not be ignored, Dan. Oh, Lumen, seriously. Oh, yeah, you, you that do, was crazy. You do know what that did to, to an entire generation of men, right? I'm not kidding you. 
I think it, it was, it caused more men not to cheat than any movie that was ever made. I, I'm no joke. Like I got married and that movie had just come out and people would come up in a bar and be like, excuse me. Right. Like just trying to move in so that they could order a drink. And I'd be like, I'm married and I like her. Right. You know what I mean? Like seriously, for the first five months after, after that movie, you were just gun shy. I'm sorry. Is that your car? No, it's my wife's. I love her. You know what I mean? Like you just, you were really uh, just a bit gun shy. The whole bunny boiling thing was just a bit off sides. If you ever get married again, you should still react that way because most women would really appreciate that. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. If you make no. eye contact with another woman, you're supposed to just be like, I belong to somebody else. Don't talk to me. Don't talk. Look at, look at, don't look at that. Don't look at my right. eyes. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's for and us yell, insecure and yell gals. all the things about you that are bad. I leave the toilet seat up. My penis is small. I'm impotent. I don't make a lot of money. She's paying the bills. Right? How am I doing? Uh, <laughs> that, would that run them off? I drive an 84 Chevette. I'm broke. <laughs> this watch is fake. <laughs> okay, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Indecent proposal. How much is your dollar amount? We're going to have to go. We need a lot more information, Fancy Nancy. By the way, no, no, East it's, Coast. It's... This is East Coast Fancy Nancy. By the way, this is East Coast Fancy Nancy. So the question becomes how much? I mean, because the indecent proposal by definition was hey, you're with someone else, right? You're with your significant other or whatever. How much is it going to cost you to, to run away from the monogamy them? Tourette's? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Cinderella's glass slipper. That's a the monogamy really Tourette's. Uh, yes, Tommy, and you're going to have it. You're going to have that. Go on. Monogamy go on. Tourette's is a great way to put it. Monogamy yes. Tourette's is really a great way. You know, way some women it. who are insecure like that. I happen to have some insecurities every once in a while. Um, hey, third eye open. Hey. Um, so how much is my dollar amount? All right. So here's the deal. Honestly, like I remember when that movie came out and I was married. And I remember looking at it. Now I'm a different cat. Hey, do you have right? YouTube pulled up on your app? Do you have YouTube pulled up so you can make her a mod real quick? She's my mod. Who am I talking about? Third eye open right there. I will also okay, well, mod no, here if you want I, no, me to. No, I will have to uh, pull it up, but I will do that, okay? That's okay. fine. That's fine. I'll get it after. I'll get it after. Okay, so go on. Go on. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Indecent proposal. Me. Yeah, I know that that was the subject matter, babe. I just don't remember what we were saying about it. What's uh, the dollar amount? Oh, um... So when that movie came out, I was married and I remember my, uh, you know, my ex at the time and I were talking about this and she was like, oh, you know, I, I can't believe this. It was such a disturbing movie. I was like, well, I don't remember what the offer was, a million dollars or whatever. I would have been like, have her back by four. And I'm not trying to be a jerk. Like, I'm really not. But I, if I'm super, if I am super at ease with the woman that I'm with and, the, and a guy was like, you know what? I'd look at her and be like, hey, you going to run away with this dude at the end of the night? Because a million dollars is a pretty good hit. Why don't you go in there and have a little fun? You know, do what you do. You cool with this? You're cool with this. Go knock this out. Because I'll tell you what, offer me a million. I, I could go do that and not have any any feeling whatsoever about it. I promise you, I did that for decades. I could go in there, do that for a million bucks or whatever. I could do it for 500. I'm not going to feel a damn thing. I don't get attached. How? It's a problem. I don't get attached. When I do, I get really attached but it's happened so infrequently. I have, uh, I get attached to very few people. I have, a, I am a weirdo. Uh, what am I wearing today? A Blanc Payne 50 Fathoms, uh, their new uh, collab. Yeah, but hold on. Let me ask you something. Okay, I think I understand what you're saying. You don't get attached, but let's say you were attached, right? right? Let's say you are attached. Could you do it? Uh, the the physical part of it I don't I don't wrestle with the same way if the person was sitting down holding hands and 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 you know my girl was telling the most deep intimate secrets to this person about you know her childhood and what makes her tick and this and that because of the fact that I spent a lot of decades doing what I did to me their sex seemed very much like a um, nah I mean I'd do it for two fifty it it really sex to me was was a physical thing right? That, that was very easy to separate from an attachment unless you're kissing somebody and then things get really different. But the people that I was really attached to, I don't know. Like I, 
I wouldn't want you talking to somebody. I wouldn't want the person, you know, having a deep conversation and built physical versus yeah. emotional. emotional. I get way more yeah. hung up on emotional connection than, and, and maybe that makes me a freaking weirdo. I don't know. Right. But uh, if they MJ, said, I believe that. Yeah. Um, I could, I could see that if, if they said, you know, here, I'm going to offer you a million dollars and here's what I want. I want your girl for the next, you know, three weeks. We're not going to have sex. I just want to get to know who she is on the most deep part. I'd be like, can't you give me, you know, cash and just like offer and be done in an hour? Because I think I'd probably deal with that a lot better. Teresa says the intimacy that I see you and Tommy share here on screen feels way more intimate than any sex worker session I had. That's amazing. That's a pretty cool thing to say, isn't it? That is a cool thing to say, Teresa. Thank you. So hold on. Let's hypothetical. We got a hypothetical this because I'm trying to understand. Okay. Uh, Lady E, a hundred percent. So um, I need to know. Let's hypothetical this. You have you're you're deeply involved with somebody. You're married. Whatever. Would you make that agreement? Would you really do that? And for a million. Is that your number? That's more what I'm concerned about. Well, is that really your number? Well, I mean, it, so I, again, there are no parameters here. So this is all really, really confusing. Um, Omega. Uh, so here's the here's where it gets confusing. Again, am I single? Is the person married? Am I married to this person? Is the person who's coming in and making the indecent proposal wanting me for a night? Wanting my mate for a night? What are we doing? There's a lot here I don't know. Because I could go do it and feel nothing. I'll go do it. Really? Cash, I promise you. Even hold nothing. on. Okay, stop for a minute. Could you go do it and feel nothing if you were bonded and and with somebody though? If the person I was with, I'll give you a perfect example. I was married to a girl. We were both hopelessly addicted to heroin. Right. We went to a party and a girl came up to me and was talking to me and following me around. And I, when we got in the car, she goes, "Boy, that girl was on you. Good lord!" And she was not the most attractive person you've ever seen. And I said, yeah, I go. And she's a pharmacist. And my significant other turned the car around. I'm not kidding you. And drove back and went, get in there and get her. Because where we were at in our life, it was uh, it was probably worth doing whatever I had to do to get, you know, 1100 Oxycontin a week for free. Right? And it didn't mean much to me and it didn't mean much to her. Now, that's a really weird situation, isn't it? And it wasn't a million dollars. And and she never felt a pang of jealousy because I wasn't having any fun. This was something that was literally about money. So when people say, oh, it's an indecent you know, proposal, you make this about money, I promise you I'd get in there, do whatever I had to do. I wouldn't do it without telling my significant other. But I would say, this person just offered me a million dollars. It's going to destroy you because I can go knock this out in a million dollars and be done. I promise you and mean nothing. If I'm with the person and I love that person, then no one else means anything. Nothing. Yeah, I could go knock it out in an hour and mean nothing to me. It would be like playing tennis. I don't get attached like that. My Damn, attachment, Joe this virus, is why I don't kiss sucks. people. It may not make sense, but, you know, it's just... Uh, I'm, I'm a defective, uh, you know, and it's part of it. I, I completely at least understand... You know, the, um, now, how would you feel if they said for me to sleep with your person you're bonded to, would you again, not care because it's just sex? It depends on the person that I'm bonded to, right? For instance, you know, if the person that, that I am a very different animal, if I married an animal like myself, right? Someone that said, look, do you think this is going to mean crap to me? I will go in there and get on all fours and be out in an hour. And this means nothing. Let's take the million. I could probably look at my mate and be like, knock that out, <laughs> knock that out. But if she went, oh my God, of course I'm not doing this. You know, how could you even, I would go, oh, no, 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 forget it. You want me to go break this guy's legs? I'll go break this guy's legs for offering. But if she went a million bucks, this doesn't mean anything to me. Nothing. I love you. You're the person I care about. We'll knock this out in an hour. Go get drunk and laugh at this idiot willing to pay me an hour, right? A million dollars. Too many variables, a lot of variables, but. So would you, how do you feel about cheating then? If that's the case, if, if it, it means nothing, would you cheat on your person? Fancy Nancy. I'm sorry. I'm going to answer you in a second, but this is East coast fancy Nancy. Cause we have a West coast fancy Nancy. I think men have an easier time um, not getting emotionally attached. Well, here's the deal on that. I think I'm, I'm saying the exact opposite, right? 
physical attachment, right? But emotional attachment, if again, if, if, if she said, okay, here's what the guy wants. He'd like to take me out for the weekend. We're going to go and read a book. We're going to go have a wine, you know, tasting. We're going to, I'd be like, ain't no way in hell. Okay. Ain't no way in hell. I don't want, I don't, I am emotionally attached, right? Emotionally attached in a way that if I found out you wrote someone a letter and you're my girl, I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Like that would devastate me. You're sharing things that should be shared with me. But the physical act for me is something that is different. And maybe it's because of the stuff that happened to me when I was a kid. But the physical stuff is just, to me, it can be very intimate. It can also be absolutely nothing. Right? And, and the vast majority of times that I had sex, it was absolutely nothing. The times that I had sex with someone that I cared about, it was a completely different experience. See, right? Jessica Colley, I'm with you right there, but I'm emotional as hell. Cheating, if cheating means nothing, then you are with the wrong person. Um, but I also believe I'm the opposite of you. I, there's, uh, yeah. Joe, stop it. I, um, I don't know. I'm the opposite of you. I'm way too emotionally attached to the person I'm with and it would break me to, it's not just an act to me to be like, I can knock this out in an hour. There's no way I could do it. I would be thinking of the other person the whole time and crying. Like I'm, well, viol I'm being, I'm violating our trust and th this person a, is, uh, is touching me in places that only I allow this person to do it. Like there's no dollar amount to me that like, it would break me. It would ruin me. It would ruin my Kathy spirit. Ann, I don't think, I don't think that, um, I don't think that I define cheating differently. I did. I think that I define intimacy differently. Right. Um, because here's, here's really what it is. I'm not, I would not, um, cheat on my, uh, on my significant other. I wouldn't do that. Uh, but I am, I am far more I could get over, let's put it this way. Like Reese says, I could get over uh, somebody slapping me. I couldn't get over somebody cheating with, you know, on me. I could get over somebody coming home and saying, man, I got drunk and last night at a party, this one thing led to another, right? I could get over that. As crazy as that sounds. And there's been a time in my life where I did because it went down just like that. But if you come up and you go, hey, for the last six months, me and this guy, forget it. Right. There's no talking. I don't yeah, care if course. you had sex. Of course. I don't care if you did it. If you've been talking and sending emails to this dude for six months, if you guys are, are yeah, I'm done. I would, I would have a I much easier time. I would have a much easier time with you slept with the dude. Right. Because to me, intimacy is sharing someone's soul. And yeah, the body becomes a part of that at some point, especially if you can kiss somebody, but, but the intimacy, you culminate it in the bedroom, whatever, but the, the intimacy is so much more than all of that. I'm, I can't, uh, and maybe I don't describe it very well. I think um, I understand. I just, I don't understand because I could never feel that way, but I think I understand what you're saying. And lady E you're right. I could never be the other woman. Cause I have to be the woman. I could never be somebody's side thing. Cause I'm way too clingy and weird. Um, well, it's, it's also the most emotional subject matter on planet earth. isn't it? Because the question was, what would be the pay, what would be the cost for an indecent proposal based on a film mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and where where that takes people and the emotions that you see people going in right the question becomes right here's the question the question is could you let your mate go and have sex with somebody for a million dollars not would the person go cheat the, the question isn't you know the question is would you sell your mate right to go be with somebody for a sexual encounter for a million dollars was what the question was. And what I have said is there have been people that I have been with for whom our intimacy had so little to do with sex that if somebody wanted to give us a million dollars for either of us to do anything physically, we would have been like, sure. Right. But in both cases, if they said, I'd like to take your, uh, your mate out for dinner for two days in a row, both parties would have been like, Oh, hell no. So it may not make sense. Right. But um, intimacy she means different things to different people. And it may to a lot of people mean, you know, sweating. And to me, kissing is more intimate than sex. Right? I can have sex with somebody and it doesn't feel intimate. Kissing always feels intimate, like horrifically, in the best way, horrifically intimate. I right? get what that's you're that's the intimacy that. that there's no coming back from. 
Where's my self-respect, Tina Louise? I'm a bank robber. <laughs> Gun she robber. might be talking to me. I don't know. Well, I, I don't have any self-respect. Check the. I Usually that's been established over a long period of time. But yeah, self-respect left uh, probably in the 80s. And uh, Anne, I agree with that too. Kissing is fun. Kissing can be fun with the right person, I should say. I don't kiss a lot of people. I haven't kissed a lot of people in my life, but... I, the, the people that I recall, like actually making out with kissing, it's so much fun, but it is like he just said, it's incredibly intimate. It's not something you want to do with everybody. At least I can't. Well, uh, lady E, I couldn't answer that question at all. Couldn't answer that question at all. I couldn't, I've had soulmates for whom sex meant nothing. Right. I've had someone who I married, who I believed to be my soulmate for whom sex was such an impersonal thing that it just and, and, and this is different for every human being. Right. How mom and dad screwed up her or how mom and dad screwed up me and how that screws the both of us up coming together. Right. It's different every single time. I'm sad at how many people I can tell you how different it's for, but it's never the same thing twice in anybody's head. It just yeah. isn't. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I don't uh, think I could do it. I don't think I, I, and a million is absolutely off the table. That's nothing. I could spend that at the golden geese store. I, again, uh, the money would have been irrelevant for me. You know, the money, the money part of it, I guess, you know, is irrelevant. I, I, I could blow this entire place away and scare the crap out of everyone with a really great story, but I won't do it. Yeah. You know what? I will. Here you go. I'll do it. I'm teaching a class in, in, in prison. And a guy comes back and he hasn't been in my class for two months, right? Disappeared, gone. And you never know where somebody goes. You, they obviously went to the hole and we don't know why. The guy comes back and he goes, I beat the crap out of my cellmate, right? Not a shocker. It's usually what sends somebody to the hole. They beat up somebody, right? And I said, uh, drugs? Because that's usually the first fight. No. Uh, gambling? He said, no, he was gay. And I said, dude came on to you? Because the dude was small. Like it didn't seem like that would have been a logical thing. And he goes, oh, no, he didn't come on to me. I just found out he was gay. I said, and kicked the crap out of him for it. He's like, yeah, I go. <laughs> Classy. You know what I mean? Like, what do you care if he's gay? If he's not coming on to you, what do you care? But this was a, a, an inmate with a prison mentality or whatever, right? But then he said, I wouldn't have sex with a dude for a billion dollars. And he said with a B. And I proceeded to say, I would do it on the 50 yard line at the Super Bowl for a billion dollars. What do you think of that? Well, my mom in the stands. Because it means nothing to me. I am as hetero as any man on planet Earth. And a billion dollars is $1,000 million. Yeah, give me hell. You can put me in a miniskirt. I'm pretty damn, um, I'm pretty damn secure in who I am. Right. And the people in the room, you got to realize I'm in prison having this conversation with 36 dudes sitting in a circle that went, I'm like, not one of you, huh? No way, man. I, I, no way. I said, oh, good. Hopefully they offer it twice because I'll do it a second time. And take two billion. I maybe I'm just a really, really different person, man. Maybe I'm just I admire a, it actually, person. Tommy. I I I admire that. I think that shows character, and you know who you are. Yeah, and I mean, that's not hard to see. Out. Everybody knows that. You didn't have to tell that story. I mean, you are very secure in who you are, and that probably does spill over into the relationships that you've had with people. I get that I now. It actually really makes a lot more sense. Yeah, but it makes more sense your answer. Your answer is to the the indecent proposal thing. Yeah. You're just strong. I'm not surprised. But I would never I wouldn't ask my mate to do anything either. Ever. Right? The most jacked up part of that movie, if you ever saw it, is the fact that he talks his girl into it. That's the problem with that story, right? It has nothing to do with the relationship. It has to do with the power play of a guy that's trying to take a guy, another guy's girl. And it's just about burning the dude. It's about destroying mm -hmm. that guy. That's what the film is about. It's disturbing as shit. It, yeah. It's not, you know, and, and in that situation is pretty, is pretty damn disturbing. Right. Yeah. I, for sure. I assure you, I would never try to talk my, uh, my mate if I had been dating her for an hour and 45 minutes, or we'd been married into uh, trying to do that. Not really that cat, never been that cat. Nor would I try to talk her into doing it with another woman. What do you think of that? I've never been that cat either. I've always found that a bit disturbing. It comes yeah. up, you know, <laughs> doesn't always need help, but uh, I've always found that a bit disturbing. 
I'm, 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 uh, I don't know, effective, apparently. I didn't, uh, I didn't get a lot of the guy memos or I was just born way too early. I don't see defective at all there and what you just said. Difference. I don't see it at difference. all. I guess, I guess different would be the, uh, the word. I apologize. A better word to be sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I appreciate your honesty and being open about that, Tommy. It actually makes me understand things a lot better and it still doesn't change though that, I don't know. I, I, I'm very different than you when it comes to that. I'm weird about I, cheating I, and, uh, if, I have a lot of experience with cheating, so it gets me. It I get really it. gets to me. It really, I get really. It. Gets I, to I me. do too. If it makes you, if it makes you feel better, I actually have my uh, my last one on film. Still have it. I can watch it. Okay, <laughs> I've I've been there and done that. I got it on Dropbox. It's actually uh, camera angles everything. They they did an excellent job filming it. Uh, so it's no fun whatsoever when I'm being cheated on. I've been there and uh, and done that. But I want to tell you something. This is a true story. So it was Spanky's mom. This is who I was together with when that film came out. It was, uh, it was Harrelson and, uh, and Demi Moore, right? And I remember sitting in the theater watching that. And she said, what would you do? And I swear to God, you know what my response was? I said, I would have offered myself up for that million, right? It's, it's, it's Rob, what's it? I'd have been like, hey, what do you think? Let's leave the girl behind. You and I do this. No, we go in there. And she goes, you'd have sex with him? I said, I would have beat his ass and taken that briefcase. That's what I that's what I would have done. I would have gone in there and punched that dude until he couldn't eat for six weeks. And I would have left with that briefcase and me and my girl would have driven home. Tommy. And that's the conversation we had in the theater. No joke. That was the conversation we had in the theater. I said, I would have, uh, I'd, I'd have gone back there and uh, we would have had a conversation. I'd have left with that briefcase, but nobody was going to be having any sex. I promise you. Yeah. I'd have, I'd, oh. I'd have crabbed back on home homeboy. I don't think he'd have liked that. You'd have beat his ass with the briefcase. Well, you don't want yeah. that to open. I saw that in Dumb and Dumber. You gotta be oh, careful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Yeah. These are just as good. My hands are starting to sweat. <laughs> Why don't you take these? <laughs> just go, man. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. Well, uh, we learned something new about you. And, uh, and this is I like that. Yeah. I like this first show. I like this. I like this side of you that you kind of let loose a little bit. I can tell that you're a little bit more comfortable. I want to tackle some of this stuff. Sorry. Very good. What's that? Hey, there's your brother. That is my I brother. Want you to, uh, uh, I do. Well. I want to tackle uh, some of these subjects sometimes. I, I really do. Like, I don't think you and I talk enough. Do you guys agree? Like, it's fun to me talking about re like relationships and hypotheticals and how different, I just saw somebody say, like talking about like polygamy, polyamory, like monogamy. Like, I think it's fun to kind of go into that and, and just. Uh, I would, I could do, I, I honestly could talk for an entire show on polyamorous relationships. It happens to be something I read a bunch about and messed up with a couple of times. It didn't work for me at all. I, I tried it uh, at a time in my life with people. Um, and I don't think I'm telling any uh, tales out of church here. Calhoun's been pretty open. He's done some of that. It doesn't work very often. It really doesn't. It, it does for some people. But even like if you read Kinsey or you read any of the people that study this stuff, um, it fails 99% of the time, sadly. It really doesn't work very well. Um, I could never just, do it. I couldn't either. And you, could you guess? I could never do that. Well, uh, I didn't like it. Um, no way. It is. It is a marriage ender. In my opinion, it is. It is. Uh, but I'm all about deep diving it. I am all about it. We can do it on the next show, which yeah. we will have to do tomorrow at a minimum because uh, we need to get all of these. Um... Guys, uh, for those of you, there's uh, 363 of you in here. By the way, thank you for being here. This is cool. I for having Tommy for only having like 1200 subscribers. That's pretty amazing that there's 363 people here. I love you guys for supporting us. Um, we need Tommy and I have a bet going and I have to win. It's not really in what if I have to win. Um, and I'm sorry what I agreed to. So I have to win. So, um, I, uh, we need to be monetized in 72 hours. I did it on my channel in 48. It can be done. We need 4,000 watch hours, okay? Um, so what that means is you guys put this on mute when you're done and just just roll that tape. Just keep playing it. 
Um, do it on different, do open different tabs. I don't really care, but just uh, see what you can do if you can. I really need to win. This is true. All of your all of your clothing goes into a mesh laundry bag that you tie the top of, triple tie it, right, in a knot. And then you put your bag in with everybody else's bag and your laundry washes with everybody else's laundry. Now, That's the least of my troubles. I can't wear my necklaces in prison. I can't have my vitamin C serum. That is that was my biggest problem right there. Was that that was you my can't have your problem. vitamin C serum? No, I'm not washing my clothing. No one what these guys are doing with their drawers. I'm not putting my stuff in with other people's things. Yeah, not going to happen. So I uh, did my own laundry by in hand. a toilet, right? Usually in a toilet. In uh, in some in one place, I had a 15 gallon drywall bucket for about probably six glorious months until I got it caught. See, inappropriate ever says, no way that gets the shit stains out of your drawers. I'm telling you, right? Probably not. But if it does, it's just going to put it onto someone else's. So, and uh, I'm not much on, uh, I'm more of a commando kind of guy. I'm just saying. Wow. Um, I'm just saying that. Now, it's now over 1,300 subs and they said we wouldn't make it. Yeah, this is for the people who don't like us. We're gonna we're gonna rise to the top. We can also get a little bit, uh, you know. We we can we can let our hair down a little bit. Um, we can. That's right. Yeah. When we yeah. hit when we hit two thousand, we're doing a uh, a topless program, both of us. So we get to two thousand subs. What are you doing? Oh. Or, oh, I thought you were oh, taking it off now. Oh, two thousand. I was gonna okay. do it I was now. Ready to go. I was ready to I was go. Gonna do it I was now. ready to go. Um. Yeah, you know, we could make goals like that. Looks like we made it. Nice, Jessica. Uh, um, Jessa, sorry. Jessica Colley, she's going to meet us in Tucson or Phoenix. Guys, I may not go to Tucson. That's where Tommy lives, but I'm flying to Phoenix. So he's probably and just going to. I will gonna... go there. I promise I will be. I'm going to pick you up at the airport. I will be there in, in uh, Phoenix. I feel kind of bad about that now. I'm oh, more than no, happy. I have, I have family. Afternoon Delight is going to be. Uh, we, we've. Uh, that would be a great name for a recurring uh, segment here on the uh, Relate Boat. I'm going to make it the Relate Boat by tomorrow. Okay, that would be great, um, guys. But or no, Tommy, you don't. I feel bad about it now. I already have a hotel booked, so I can get an Uber to my hotel. It's not that big of a deal. I'm picking you up. Big deal. I'm topless right now, Tracy. Like you more by the minute. Besides, you're going to have to. Well, you have something you got to do as soon as you come into town. What? cheese enchiladas did you want to... do you remember that live that we did that just reminded me of it so much your face <laughs> do you remember that live that we did when we were talking about <laughs> and i walked into that and i totally was just stupid walked into that yes. and i said you were what talking about you <laughs> yeah is that how i said it that's kind of how you said it. Yeah. Don't be dicky. It was, it was a little how you said it. You guys, were you there for that? That was so hilarious. We were talking about a honeymoon. And I said, it'd be fun to go, you know, and like get cheese enchiladas. I'm thinking about food. And he goes, I'm not eating on my honeymoon. No, you no, said, I'm, I'm not. not eating cheese enchiladas on my honeymoon. And I went, what would you eat? And Tommy was like. <laughs> that, that was along the lines. It was, it was, and then Tommy <laughs> goes, yeah, he gave the face. And then he goes. I'm not, uh, and he like growled a little bit and he goes, I'm not leaving my uh, hotel room on my honeymoon. Right. I did I'm not seriously. Room. I, I walked so stupidly into that. I really, truly didn't know. You know why? Teaches. Yeah. Kathy Ann knows the drill. I had only had one honeymoon before and, uh, I spent no time in the hotel room. So I didn't know. I didn't know. Do you know you would, if you one, got though? married, you would not leave your hotel room on your honeymoon, is what you're saying. Yeah, you can call it whatever you want. I guess uh, Tommy calls it cheese enchiladas. Say someone understands the game. Right? Tommy also calls it the zoo. So, um, that's right. A, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three. We made it uh, two hours and 18 minutes. You know, yeah, I, we was did. Threatened. We did I was threatened. Because uh, Quibble, uh, Quibble says to me, 
um, you're going to try to do, you know, something short so that these people, I said, no, I am in for the long haul. I want to win this. I want you to win this bet. You're just not going to. And then it's all good. I'm a little plump. I'm going to win. I have to win guys. Every one of you, please just replay this three times. Okay. Dinner just did get a whole lot more interesting. Uh, you thought it was so a pink I taco? Um, <laughs> I didn't know. I walked into it. I was pretty dumb that day. Um, so I will, uh, we'll do something again tomorrow. Don't you think? Absolutely. We will. We will be back. Do you guys, tomorrow. What time do you guys like? Do you guys like these earlier ones? I kind of do. You like these afternoon no, delights? I like afternoon delights. I, my motto has always been when it's right, it's right. Why wait until the middle of the cold, the cold dark sky night. rockets in flight? The uh, when they Woo! sing that in, in Anchorman, Anchorman, whoop! <laughs> it's one of the best scenes ever. It really is. He's like, pew. We're in Sex Panther. Fifty percent of the time, it works every time. It smells like a used diaper filled with Indian food. <laughs> so great. She walks it's in and goes, so it's dick. oh my God, what's that smell? Like there's not even a pause. She walks She's in, like, what is that? That's the smell of desire, my lady. <laughs> smells like Bigfoot's uh, dick. So um, classic. Yeah, it was. That was a great movie. Uh, we are uh, best friends, Jessica Colley, for sure. And I hope that you are in Phoenix. And uh, guys, I will be in Phoenix, I think, two weeks from tomorrow. Right? Yes. And I get in, I think, pretty late Friday, but I don't know, actually. I need to go back and look at that. Um, and then I was thinking maybe Saturday we meet up with our people, and then I'm going back Sunday. Yeah, works for me. Okay. Jessica, I am uh, really looking forward to that. I heard they have great cheese enchiladas there. Yeah. Yeah. We Come yeah. for your daughter, Chuck. <laughs> Come for your daughter, Chuck. Uh, 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 let's do it again tomorrow. All right, do you I'll have that kind of, do you have the stamina? Are you going to be good, Gramps? I, th I think we might be able to pull that off. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yadira, I don't like that either. That and <laughs> awesome sauce. I can't pull, I can't do it. I knew you weren't going to be able to handle amaze balls. I can't do amaze balls. Huxley knows all about it. Jessica Lee. I might be willing to, to, to put some action on that, right? I don't think I'm the one in trouble. Hold on. You may not believe this, but that was a seven. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, please don't let me be the one in trouble, guys. Please get the watch hours up in 72 hours. Please, sir, take me to get shoes. Another? Yeah. More? Yeah, you'll get more. That's right. I told her we're going to uh, famous footwear. Nothing but the best. Oh All my right, God. People. Shoe carnival. <laughs> Nothing but the best. Okay. Real tomato Guys, ketchup. This was, fun. this was really fun. Uh, Tommy's going to give me permission to be on the channel so I can highlight comments. He likes to give, give me permission. The, uh, yeah. I'm going to give her permission as soon as we hang up here. So. Okay. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Probably like an afternoon show again. I'm thinking an afternoon delight. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right, everybody. Thank you for being here. I'm serious. This was amazing. We don't have an outro or whatever you call that, a sign off. But thank we you do. for being it's here. It's just not up yet. It's actually filmed. Uh, we just don't okay. have it up yet. I actually have a is it cool. is it one of the films that you sent me? No. Oh, it's not that one. No. Okay. No, that would be a good one though. I don't know. That, that would be uh, a good one, wouldn't it? We we might get demonetized, but. Um, you Sorry. Just blur out our faces. I mean, their faces. I don't. The faces of the people. That... I don't remember the faces being in it. <laughs> it's tattoos. I'm worried about. I remember a whole lot of faces in there anyway. All right, people. I love rumors. Note. Okay, yeah, that... bye, guys. What's your favorite album? Huh? Is it? Is it Steely Dan or is it Rumors? Fleetwood Mac. Sinner. All right, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, my bye -bye. God. Bye, guys.